Hey. All right. Uh, hey, this is Ross Payton with Rolling Public Radio. We're playing Trail of Cthulhu. This Midnight Sub Rosa by Ruth Tillman. It's part of Out of the Woods, a new collection of forest themed uh, Cthulhu adventures. Uh, there's five of them. And also, I, I, it's a neat book, anyways. Um, so, uh, we have four investigators here, uh, and you're all part of the Armitage Inquiry. You have all been summoned to go to Rosa, Alabama. Um, you've, you've all, uh, were called up in the middle of the night two days ago, uh, to drop whatever you're doing and go to Birmingham, and from Birmingham, drive to Rosa, Alabama, because a very rare book of interest to the Armitage Inquiry has gone missing, and you have been sent to find it. Uh, and, uh, so let's go first off, uh, introduce our player characters, uh, starting on my left with... Hi, I'm Renee, and I am playing L.A. LaFleur, which I just go by La La LaFleur. <laughs> um... Uh, her, drive, <laughs> her drive is adventure, and she is a criminal. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is Jason. I'm playing Dr. Anthony Porter, and uh, I don't understand why I had to be sent on this trip. But there are perfectly good uh, <laughs> graduate assistants who could have been sent to do <laughs> this Were we <laughs> briefed? <laughs> Were we you, briefed? You are, you are going to be briefed. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> but I am a, I'm an arrogant scientist. Um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, Tom. Uh, this is Tom. I will be playing Herman Brown. I am a private investigator cursed with bad luck. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I fought yep. in the war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why the fuck I'm here. All right. Uh, you and me both. Why? Finally, Caleb. I'm Caleb. Hi, yeah. Caleb. I'm playing James Arnold. <laughs> oh, my. Southern <laughs> Dilaton. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, Add to a chicken throw. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, basically, uh, Good job. Have you all read, uh, handout one, um, there essentially was a professor, uh, who so- holds these salons to have <laughs> academic di- uh, discussions for a month or so, uh, but, uh, the latest one, um, one of the professors who attended the salon took a book out of the rare, uh, manuscript room. Uh, so they could discuss uh, the the diary of a uh, well uh, uh, a person who was hanged for child murder in the se- in 1736. Uh, I'm sure he had it wouldn't a, happen to be Chilled Ray, was it? Uh, no, the name is on here. De la Poor. <laughs> yeah, uh, De la Poor. Uh, Ezekiel De la. Uh, I'm sure he had a fair Power. trial. Power is actually how you pronounce that. Power. Oh. Power. I don't know how these. Uh, I don't know uh, first class hanging. Yeah. I don't no, know how these southern, southern names are. Uh, this salon commemorates the 200th anniversary of his uh, Poe's hanging for suspected child case. Ca- weird party, party bro. <laughs> 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 uh, Theodore Derby, uh, professor emeritus of the University of Alabama, and his daughter um, hosted the salon, uh, and they thanked the rare books department of the University of Alabama for the gracious loan of the diary. Uh, so, this, uh, happened two days ago, so you're arriving April 28th, um, let's see here. Oh, so this is, is after that? the salon? Yes, the, because it was stolen at, it during was the salon. stolen. It was stolen that. from the house from the salon, uh, two days ago. Uh, and the book is w- uh, valuable enough that the four of you have been, you know, contacted through Miskatonic University, through the Armitage Inquiry, to find out what happened to it, um... And because they do have a phone line out of the town, so they were able to telephone that night. Uh, and it, this was able to be organized. So, as we were picking up, uh, who is driving the rented car uh, from Birmingham to Rosa? Um, mm. Who has a drive? I have a driving at six. Probably you, then. I'll be driving. All right. <laughs> Um, so I'm doing like the opposite of no smoking. Like everyone better be smoking in this car. <laughs> it's the 30s. <laughs> everyone is. Good. Uh, so your automobile pulls into the sleepy town of Rosa, population 113 and four guests, bouncing into striking red clay earth you've seen throughout Alabama. Last time you saw a paved road was nearly 35 miles miles ago, just outside of Birmingham. You've crunched over perhaps another 30 miles of packed gravel, uh, but since passing through, uh, let's see, uh, Oneta, uh, Oneta, uh, you've uh, been on rutted country roads. The pollen dust, uh, pollen dusted clay clings to your tires, creating such a slick surface. You're grateful for the ruts keeping you on track. Uh, as the first house comes on into view, an older man hefting a shotgun over his sh- shoulder steps out of the trees and raises his hand. Y'all hold up a moment. Uh, so uh, he looks. <laughs> this must be the sheriff. 
Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. Well, I guess we should be uh, Sam McGrath. Uh, what y'all doing here? We have an invitation, sir. Uh, well, this is, you need to keep on going. Rose ain't safe. We've had a wolf problem. Uh, I beg your pardon? There, wolves? Yes. In the uh, south? Well, we haven't had them in ten years, but some, uh, there have been some mall ones and whatnot. Uh, sheriff uh, is closing the town until we can get this sorted out. Uh, Indeed. I, yeah. I appreciate the warning, sir, but I'm th- we'll be fine. Uh, what are... What are what, uh, what, no, you won't be all right. Like I just said, <laughs> there's a wolf problem, and people have been mauled I, on to death. Back in my day, I'd love to have a wolf problem, because as opposed to the other ones I had. Oh, uh, wolf I, problem would have been awesome. You can pass on through, but I mean, do you? I mean, wait, do you have business here? Hey, we do. Oh, uh, wait, are you the special private investigator sent uh, for? Yeah, we are, sir. Oh, yeah, Sheriff done told me about that. Uh, <laughs> are you the deputy? Oh, well, no, I'm just a regular I'm person. Just uh, I've been deputy. <laughs> just a Sam? I'm just, a, I'm just the militia of Sam. <laughs> I'm just, he deputized all of us to deal with this wolf problem, is what yeah. I'm saying. Well, then I wish you luck in your endeavors of wolf hunting. Yeah. Um, but we'll, like we need to be moving on, sir. Well, well, well let, I'll, let, just just park over here, and we'll, we'll I'll get the well I'll fetch the sheriff, and we can talk to him, and we'll get this all sorted out. Like, all right? is, is this a hundred percent necessary, sir? We we really really must be getting on site to I, get our business. The sheriff, you want to talk? It's the sheriff. It's fine. It's fine. Can well, I spend I'm a try- point? Yeah. What? Can I spend a point? Or what? Uh, flattery. Uh, to do what? To get him to shut up and let us leave. <laughs> zero point. Just, it's zero point. You don't need to spin. Uh, but he, he's directing you to talk to the sheriff. Like, well, well, we, you we should, should probably want to talk to him anyway. I consider saying something, but decide it's beneath me. Uh, no, like, like, <laughs> the armor inquiry told you to talk to the sheriff because he is the one who knows what happened. So, exactly no, with the no, it's been like. Sounds like, like to give us a fine idea to to admire this scenery. We'll wait for the sheriff, of course. Um, well, you park um, and you find the sheriff. Yes, the cops uh, are talking with the so men on the street. Green this time of year. <laughs> um, the sheriff sees you. He's an older man. Uh, you know, uh, not too active. You know, uh, a bit uh, smoking. Portly. <laughs> <You> portly. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm guessing he probably runs unopposed. He he does. Uh, <laughs> he is also <laughs> chewing tobacco. Uh, so he, he's quite uh, No, okay, uh, that's what. Chewing tobacco. Are we about to have a failure of no, communication? No, no, I'm, I'm like, 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 chewing tobacco. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows you burn the stuff. You don't uh, chew it. He directs you into his office. Uh, there's a small, you know, the small county uh, uh, sheriff's office. That's a bad habit. Uh, so that's, well, um, <laughs> he looks you all over and says, well... Um, normally I would be taking care of such an investigation, but the Professor Darby, uh, has impressed upon me the seriousness of this situation, uh, and I- I'm happy to help, uh, in any way, if you are all, if this is a, a, a exotic crime for our locale, and we, we do not want such a rare and valuable, uh, antique to, to stay missing. I, we appreciate that, Sheriff, I can assure you we won't step on your toes at all. <clears throat> um... But we've had some problems here uh, in Rosa ever since that book disappeared. Uh, and Wolves, I've been told. Well, mm, yep, yeah, that's a way to... Oh, yes, uh, yep, definitely wolves, definitely wolves. <laughs> uh, do you have cop talk? Hmm? Do you have cop talk? Uh, I do. Okay, I kind of I kinda figured the P.I. would have cop mm. talk. <laughs> um, so clever. Ever since that book went missing, uh, we've had, well... Some unusual things. Um, uh, now, now to, to, to keep in mind, uh, the library of uh, the professor's house where the book was being kept before it was stolen uh, is locked, and I have the key, uh, which I will... Which one of... Uh, are y- y'all private investigators? Like, I'll take the key. Okay. Sure, uh, yeah. Uh, we are a highly I'm, specialized I'm group of learned in of individuals. It's in my hand. <laughs> oh, very good. Take very it out good. of your hand. Um, <laughs> probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. She's, she's excitable. I think but I gave her a concussion. I don't know what to tell <laughs> you, <laughs> but there's, there's that book, you know, uh, uh, something, something really bad's going on. Um... 
Because <laughs> last night, um, Mrs. Du Bois woke up the town screaming, fit, raised, uh, fit to raise the devil. Uh, something was breaking in the store, Captain General store over there, and she come running only to stumble upon. Well, um, I know you're all educated here. This is all gonna sound crazy to you, but uh, please, her please. husband um, was helping himself to the raw rabbit in the store's ice box. Problem is, her husband. Did hus- you say rabbit, sir? Yes. Well, and well, the real thing is, her husband been. We buried him uh, not too long ago. Um, it's perfectly normal. buried. Yeah. Oh, that's unusual then. Yes, it is. What was the unusual. cause of the uh, disease? Um. <laughs> well, oldness. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, he died. Uh, well, we died. He actually died six years ago of natural causes. Um, he, you know, he got sick. Natural causes doesn't mean old. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he died at the ripe old age of cause. thirty. All right. And uh, since then, we also found Miss uh, Emmeline. Uh, well, we found half of her. We're looking for the other half, uh, the, the 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 bottom half. Um, and. Um, well, Bill Mathers, he was uh, skulking around outside, uh, and uh, you know we 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 uh, we had to take they, we had to take their heads off because uh, uh, shooting them wasn't doing no good. Mm. Uh, take their heads off. You yeah, uh, you got some zombies. Uh, what's that? What's uh, walking dead? Oh well, I guess they were walking and they were dead. Uh, I hear that happens to Catholics sometimes, yeah. yeah. So, At this point, zombie was more of a voodoo thing. Um, does anybody My have forensics? <laughs> Touche. Touche. Um, does anybody have forensics? Uh, I have it at one. Uh, well, since you're a private investigator, if you want to nope. look at the If you could help us deal with this problem, it would be mighty helpful. Okay. I know you're here for the book, but I feel these are connected somehow. <laughs> right. You're probably right, Sheriff. Uh, I'll take a look. I'm quite familiar with bodies. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I saw a lot of I saw a lot of them. Yes, we've heard. Yeah. It was tragic. Um I mean and I've been telling people it was I bulls, created a lot of them. But we did find something that attacked <laughs> our men last night. Uh it won't it wasn't a wolf, but it did have claws. I ain't sure what it is. Any of y'all know about, you know, science and Biology, and yes, whatnot. most assuredly. I do. Oh. What, uh, what? Uh, if you could take a look at it, we torched it because you know, well, that would make it difficult to look at. You so. could look at it with the torch from we put it in the we, we made a morgue. You could look at the facts, yeah. <laughs> we got under the general store, there's we have some ice that we put sawdust over, you know, in the winter, so it's kind of like a nice, yes, of course, too much to expect you all to respect, of course, we sure. don't got, you of, know, course, of course, sure. of course, refrigerated sure. We'll, air. We'll, we'll look into it, okay. Um. Let's see here. So, yeah, apparently the dead are walking. Uh, there's some sort of thing. And there's critters. <laughs> and there's a missing book. Are we in his office? Yes. All right. Uh, Sheriff, a brave son of the South like yourself <laughs> uh, must protect the sensibility of the ladies mm-hmm. in your charge. And I respect <laughs> your choice to remove that unsightliness from their present. Might you show me? The burnt remains while my colleagues stay here out of the glaring southern sun. And uh, uh, I can decide if it is worthy of the fine Dr. Porter's uh, acumen. Oh, oh, well, sure. There's, Go, t- take me, show me the yeah. grounds, oh, sir. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm trying to distract him so they can rummage around the yeah. uh, I'm really good sheriff's at rummaging. department. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, there's a couple. There there are a couple of people outside. I actually have an evidence people. collection. Good lord, what an uh, interesting human thing. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Aren't you delightful? Yes, my arrogant mm-hmm. scientist apparently gets out. I have outdoorsmen too. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, so me too. Uh, well, outdoor bros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's a. Huh. You were in the war, science. Uh, yeah. It's an original. It's a one gas. room it's building. Th- stuff. Uh, <laughs> Plus your gas is a hell of a drug. <laughs> uh, the sheriff's office is a one room building. They've added a single Shocking, wall right? dividing it to a front room with a single desk and a wood stove and a back room with a conventional cell door. Uh, it had the the key cell has, key has, has firewood, sandbags, and miscellaneous farm equipment. <laughs> uh, there's also a cotton blanket, that's, cot and a blanket in that's there. Wonderful. Um, nice. So does the does the jail cell key have cobwebs on it? Uh, pretty much. 
It's yeah. like, it just for free, uh, those of you with cop talk or criminology or whatever can tell that this has got, this guy who, uh, you actually do see some medals from the Spanish-American War. Uh, the oh, sheriff he served in the Spanish-American War. Um, yeah. Oh. He probably... So he's, just, he's a bit crusty, is he? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <All right>. um, <laughs> so you can start rummaging around in there. Is there anything interesting in any of the records? Um, you start looking through, do you have bureaucracy or notice? Um... I have. Uh, let's see here. Or do any not bureaucracy? I, I have. I have bureaucracy. Okay. And where notice? Where notice is. Where's yeah. Notice. Um, notice is, I think, a general ability. I don't. Mm, it says notice here, but I, uh, let me look. Mm-mm. Oh, I've not seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's probably yeah. Yeah, a typo. Uh, anyways, okay. bureaucracy is fine though. Okay. Yeah, I got bureaucracy. Uh, so you start. There's a big stack of church records. It looks like the sheriff was trying to figure out. Why these bodies were rising up from the dead? Uh, How utterly clever! Of them. Yeah. Uh, so you start piecing through those. Um, let's see here. Uh, Art James, uh, you head over to the makeshift morgue, which is the sunken ice, the square sunken ice house behind the general store. Uh, instead of professionally made ice, uh, basically in the winter they take a bunch of snow and they cover it with sawdust. And then they put it in the, uh, you know, they bury it down there. So that's what they have. And they put all the bodies in there now. Um, that would so, be nice in there, mint juice. Yeah, so now it's all spoiled. I shall course. light a clove cigarette and cover my face <laughs> with a very lacy handkerchief. <laughs> uh, only one person can fit in at a time anyway. So the right. sheriff just opens the yeah. door and points. It smells like um, a trenches. Yeah, there are three beheaded Smells human like corpses, <laughs> all dusted with si- uh, sawdust. Uh, the fourth body is a blackened <laughs> humanoid the size I mean, of a male. You pretty much set the stage. Um, yeah, the uh, looks, well, the legs are messed up, um, and the, the, the fingers terminate in claws, so uh, what the fuck that is. Uh, yeah, give me stability test. What's that? What you, you just need to go for, get a four or a better. Yes. Right. You're like, well, they're dead. So, uh, <laughs> not, re- oh not my problem. Uh, do you have uh, forensics I'll biology or outdoors? I say, I say, I say. None of the above. I'll take a picture of it, though. Okay, you take I a do picture. a photography. You do a photography. <laughs> uh, like, that is some photography. Oh, Chef, have you, have you ever around? considered the raft of the Medusa? <laughs> uh, though this side is quite terrible, it just set my muse of fire. <laughs> Uh, 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 well, I'm, I'm not... Right. Well, allow me to fetch my tripod. <laughs> oh, well, if, I yeah. shall be back momentarily. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. You, you, you should document it. Uh, like, like when, now, you come, when you come back out, like, something cool down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but while you're looking through the, the uh, like, stuff, good you Lord, figure out... Use it, man. Use I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Porter figures out that the three church records, uh, books... Figure out that the people who rose up are the three most recent burials in Rosa. Mm. Think, uh, so, pizza, pizza pie. Uh, so yeah, Bill Mar, uh, Bill Mathers was the most recent. Uh, Bill Mar? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There's a T. New <laughs> relief. <laughs> Doing God's work. Bodies shall not be raised unless um, unless they wish to. It's a free country on the dead. So you also um, so these aren't all the records the um, right. the uh, sharecroppers are they got their own community uh, there you talk to them damn you carpet baggers yeah. uh, well not carpet backers. no we, horrible I think we would be yeah. the carpet backers. horrible <laughs> race yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so you can talk to uh, them the. Uh, if you want to uh, but I yeah I really don't but I suppose I will yeah uh <laughs> So yeah, the, all the, so that's what you figure out from that. Um, there's not much else here, uh, except you know you get a sense of the town itself. Uh, there's a general store. There's a boarding house. Um, then of course there's Professor Darby's house uh, down the road. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so you come back uh, to let them I know. Take a picture. Okay. There's there's four bodies. You know, yeah. one of which is clearly Are really there town folk so. about. Oh yeah. Uh, are there any small white children in need money? Sure. This is depression, so yes. All right. Uh, it's a small rule. Oh boy. Yes. Boy. Yes, sir. Would you like to <laughs> to earn a little something for candy money? Oh, or, or just food? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I checked. Candy, candy was money. food, but oh. let's not play semantics. Oh. <laughs> What's that? 
Indeed. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Yes. Yes, sir. I open up the body bin. Okay. The, now, in those pockets, there may be something. Uh, I will trade you handsomely for anything you find for me, but I'm afraid I've worn my fine Sunday suit today and, and cannot be bothered to go in amongst such filth. But uh, were you to fetch it for me, uh, I could remunerate you. <laughs> I wish I had a kid well, with me in the trenches to do run errands for me. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, want to loot the corpses myself. Because <laughs> he's a diligent. Uh, he... I don't want to give a hand. The, yeah, the, all right. The kid uh, looks, touch, <laughs> look, looks around the corpses. Um, they're the the three people are were buried in their you know uh, funeral. They're in their funeral cl- clothing. They have nothing on them. Uh, the creature he does say. Um, what, what a no, kind of critic! Cr- no this dark ain't... talismans or anything. No dark talismans, okay. but he does point out this creature is this like a this ain't a person, ain't it? It's that ain't skin. That look at that. Look how tough this hide is. Look at that. He pokes at it with a stick. <laughs> um, hey, that's good for. I him. smelled like something like this out in the woods once. That's we good don't for... go in the woods. Yeah, that's good. Except for... Oh, you, you did. Where, whereabouts did you smell this exotic oh, aroma? <laughs> over yonder. We're not supposed to go in the woods. <laughs> Since when? And, Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> we have to, to catch rabbits sometimes, but sometimes I think something's out there watching me. And then I smell something, and then I run. Junior, but I would not suggest you go back into the woods. <laughs> what? For a while. I, I, well, I, well, with this money, I, I won't have to catch rabbits for a week. You, know? <laughs> you, you did not find anything now? Nope. You're not a handsy maid? Nope. Uh, All right, then. Don't spend it all one place. Hey, take advice from your elders. Uh, buy your mother something nice. It's always good to keep mother on your As side. As he's poking at you, you know, some of the odor wafts, and to you, it smells of an animal which has been cooked without being properly skinned. A faint odor of death clings to it. It's a very distinct <laughs> odor of death. You you think you'd recognize it again? My lives are quite disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite familiar. Like, is, that, is that a different smell of death? Because I'm really familiar with death. <laughs> Uh, what does anybody have forensics? Do I have to Bob? spin to pay the kid to leave? No, nope. I have no. forensics. Yeah. You, what's your credit rating? Five. Yeah, that's yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could buy. You could literally, literally buy this town and play God. <laughs> if you want. Well, it's always on the table now. <laughs> <laughs> it is the depression. <laughs> and oh, and this is rural Alabama. My phone's one weakness. <laughs> um, so yeah, does anybody have forensics biology? I, or, I do. Uh, I have forensics. I have biology. He has forensics. All right. Well, one at a time. You can you can poke through here. I'll do that. Um, I'll go first. Like, oh, cool corpses. I remember this. <laughs> okay. Um, forensics. All three townspeople have post mortem gunshot wounds. Um, the sheriff. I'm guessing no blood. Uh, sheriff explains shooting them didn't stop them, which is why they resorted to beheading. Uh, none of the bodies have been embalmed. Um, it deba- they're, they're, yeah, there's not really much in the way of bleeding. Uh, Bill Mathers, adult male in his late twenties, fresh his body was killed three months ago in a hunting accident. He has a shotgun wound to the face, um, <laughs> which he points as being the sheriff says that's from the accident. He also has a deep claw mark on what's left of his neck and across his belly. Uh, the sheriff explains the corpse spent several days in the woods before it was found, but it doesn't bear other uh, marks of animal predation. So, uh, then Emmeline uh, Breton, adult female in her 70s or 80s, died of natural causes two years ago. Uh, Most of her skin has rotted away. Her legs broke off at the hip joints. Um, Yeah, her bottom half is uh, uh, gone, Um, possibly due to a pre-mortem vulnerability. Dirt cakes her uh, cracked fingernails. Dan Dubois uh, died six oh, years ago. Dubois. Dubois, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> died six years ago, natural causes. His body is so badly decomposed they can only be identified by the rosary placed around his neck, but the sheriff already took that. That's why the kid didn't find it. When did he die? Uh, six years ago. Okay. Who's uh, the fourth most recent dead person? Well, the fourth body is not human. Yeah, that's the most. No. The fourth most recent dead person. Uh, but it's not in the scenario, so oh. make up a person who died more than All six right. years ago. Never mind, then. Uh, Lord Cuddlebottoms. Let's see here. Uh, he was only identified by the rosary pressure on his neck and the tatters of his best suit. Um, let's see here. There was... You find that there were... Um, if he, you find Raw Rabbit in his... Uh, interior, but... Uh, well, you think it's Raw Rabbit. It's been There's meat that's been chewed, but... There was nothing there to digest it. Um, and I find all this quite distasteful. Yeah. Like, death often is. 
Ew, I say. <laughs> uh, biology. Uh, yeah. You look at the, Most the fourth burned body. Okay. The creature is humanoid, but definitely not human. The front of its skull slo- slopes unnaturally forward, and its canine teeth extend far more prominently than a human's. Each of its fingers has an extra segment made of hard cartilage. Its pelvis would give it an eloping walk, and its feet splay oddly. Uh, Where was this guy found? Uh, he attacked people last night in, near the graveyard. And they, they shot him? They shot, they him, shot him and then cut it and like used took axes to him. Got it. Okay. And a cavalry sword. Um, mm-hmm. So the, What's the, the letter we initially had? Uh, let's see. Yep. Sure. Okay. So the decapitated bodies, um, do they bear like the slash marks? Are they on all of them or just that one? Just that one. Okay. What about the, the heads? Are the heads with the rest of the bodies? Yep. Okay. And, uh, is there anything yeah, that was part of the their, their brains? Yeah. yeah, nothing there. Okay. Like, um, except seen, that they've been cut off. You well, know? like, yeah. Quiet. You ever seen an animal like that at all? Sloping forehead, pronounced canines, extra joint on the fingers. <laughs> Humanoid. He's like, no, no. Sounds, in fact, like, I have not. Uh, <laughs> sounds like sounds like my ex, sounds like my ex-wife. You've uh, lived a horrifying life. <laughs> you have no, you have no idea. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, this my grizzled level is intense. The town of Rose's problem is something to do with the dead walking and weird creatures. Uh, uh-huh. But there's also the thing. Usually, that it's only one the or the other. Yeah, uh, which is going to the Darby House if you want to, or you can investigate the graveyard. Can I talk to, to the uh, sheriff before we go to the Darby House? Sure, of course. Uh, sure. Yes, yes, please talk more. Oh yes. Oh, by the way, the sheriff's name is Sheriff uh, Barnes. Um, so yeah, all right, uh, Sheriff. Uh, I'm in a terribly embarrassing situation. Uh, I'm going to go see Dr. Darby. Mm. And as our family has had for many years, uh, we intended to, as we all want to do, go on a fox hunt. But, uh, lo and behold, I seem to have forgotten my long arm. My man here forgot to pack it in the car, in the automobile. <laughs> so would, would you be so kind as to perhaps let me and my, my unworthy compatriot here uh, perhaps borrow a firearm so that we That's might not embarrass be... ourselves in front of Dr. Derby. Uh, it's definitely going to be a point spend. Uh, okay. Uh, point of credit rating, you right. could buy a shotgun. Right. He can take you to this and rental I'm, store and get a and I'm briefly uh, thinking like, breech loading like, shotgun. Do like, we not already have firearms? You have uh, probably the PI. I have, I have cigarettes and I'm snuff. I'm a criminal. Uh, I was going to be like, dude, I have a Thompson in the car. Seems like you probably have that would be a preparedness roll or a credit rate. Credit rating is four and firearms. Uh, yeah, for you free, have you would have weapons. a revolver. Okay. The criminal and the PI would have a revolver for okay. free. Uh, but if you want more firepower than that, that's going to be I'll a buy a shotgun. All right, what, you, you breach loaded uh, shotgun. How much, would it, how much would it be to just to have a uh, just an automatic pistol? Uh, like a Colt, 1911 Colt. Uh, two points. Semi-automatic or yeah, semi-automatic. <laughs> Not a fully <laughs> automatic. <laughs> Matrix. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, they yeah. actually had full auto 1911s. That was the gangster special. And it was the tourist liable, but it did do an automatic was on the <laughs> Yeah, uh, that would be two points of preparedness. Just spend. Yeah, done. Yeah, you don't have to roll. Because this is the beginning scenario. Because you're not like <laughs> I pull out my trusty Tommy gun. <laughs> you know, um, you're not you're not trying to do that sort of back. Okay, I shall do a hunter breach on the gun and mm-hmm. walk refinely out of the store. Okay, <laughs> I look good doing. Uh, the sheriff does have a pump action <laughs> shotgun, but that's Oops, his. The tiny yeah. boy is that very proud of the all. general store does <laughs> yeah. not have a arsenal of firearms. Uh, most of the t- uh, can't. No, they they have guns. They just don't have like. You know, Bass yeah. Pro level gun. No, no, you know, if you want the Arsenal, go to the bootleggers up in the hills. <laughs> All right, so where do you guys want to go? Do you want to go to the, find and go to the Dar- 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 It's actually Dar- Derby House. Go right? to the Derby House. Derby. Yeah, let's go to the D-E, Derby. not D- D-A, 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 sorry. I think so we like House. Hal and Barry said it was Derby this whole time. <laughs> All right, so at this point, word of your arrival is spread throughout the town. Uh, all of the professor's guests have assembled at the Derby House. Uh, the house has seen somewhere. It's a very respectable southern abode, likely dating from the 18, early 1800s. Um, unlike other houses in the town, its wraparound porch has not been screened in, uh, likely because it has not been regularly occupied since the death of uh, Mrs. Derby's parents in the 1890s, which you can guess, or it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm just reading the flavor text. Uh, <laughs> you... S- 
step in the house, uh, and you you are more you know this is more of your abode. It's very... do we have cover or like we just you're 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 did they call us? Yeah, they called you. Okay, so Darby called uh, Darby called us. Darby called you because the book is super rare and valuable. Okay, uh, and the Arkham Inquiry really wants to make sure this book is found. Um, so you don't have to come up with the cover identity. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Southern Genteel. Um, those of you with a fine eye for things can tell that, that they're, they're struggling, but they still are presenting a good uh, facade. Um, so um, there are numerous people here. Uh, I'll just list their names first. There's Scott Bryant, the librarian from uh, University of Alabama, the one who brought the book um, here. Then there's Professor Derby himself. Uh, then his daughter, Irma, uh, who welcomes you with lemonade. Uh, How quite. Yes. Uh, she is fuck, very, I'll take some. Um, you know, the, there is a folklorist, uh, Roberta Katz. <laughs> the uh, house folklorist? <laughs> no. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> we keep him around. We regale us with tales. Uh, Roberta Katz is one of the people visiting for the salon. He's okay. returned with tales. So is the adventure. librarian. Oh, uh, Indeed. Uh, so that's Professor Katz, sorry. Uh, then there is a doctor, do, 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 Jack Starling, who wears, uh, an onk necklace, uh, be ringed fingers and a hint of coal around the eyes. He is, uh, very much a very... Chris he, Angel. Got yeah, it. yeah, basically. Uh, Mind free. Think, uh, he's actually quite handsome. Think James uh, McAvoy, uh, if he was smarmier. Um, let's see here. There is also a <laughs> middle-aged man uh, who introduce, introduces Wait, himself. did you say he was a doctor? Yes, he is a doctor. Of what? Uh, He's a doctor, doctor in the way things. everyone was a doctor in the 30s. <laughs> uh, I'll have you no good, sir. <laughs> I'm sure I am very well respected in my Anthropology. Field. He's also yeah. anthropology. Yeah, do any of you have anthropology? I do actually. Uh, you've heard of him. He's bragged of ta- spending time in uh, Alistair Crowley's circles. Yes, because uh, of course he has. <laughs> uh, I'll get more into him in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then there is <laughs> Roger Della uh, Poer, a uh, distant descendant of the Della Poers of uh, Exum Priory. Um, A.K.A. the Lepore who was a pedophile. Well, that was 200 years ago. <laughs> this is a long descendant so from proud. a child murderer. So proud. Yeah. So what's this new one's name? Roger. Roger de la Pour, uh, Poer. Raj. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Raj. So Irma introduces you. She gives you lemonade. Uh, she is very gracious. She's wearing a very formal dress, although a little dated. Probably more of an Edwardian, you know. Um, probably nothing in this house has been made uh, since 1918, to be honest. It's, How old is Irma? Uh, she is in her late 20s, early 30s. Is she married? No. I say something terribly Terribly flirtatious. Uh, okay. She is very uh, genteel about it. Um, you need a gentleman on your arm, young lady. I think I'll say uh, the lemonade is only half so refreshing as the sight of you to my eyes. She <laughs> is quite a gracious hostess. Uh, the lemonade, the sweetness eyes. of this lemonade cannot compare Pales in to the <laughs> sweetness well, of your voice. Oh, I have a lemonade. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's very warm. She's very she 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 uh, blushes like, a little bit. Um, I believe that would be known as an Arnold Palmer. Yeah. <laughs> like who the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, what so, alarming new invention is this? <laughs> so, Professor Der- uh, uh, Derby, uh, welcome, uh, 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 gentlemen and, and lady. Uh, uh, we we uh, eagerly look forward to the resolution of this criminal malfeasance. Uh, we will be, of course, of assistance in any way we can uh, to this, to this, to this matter. And, uh, if you wish to interrogate us all at once or one at a time, whatever you you are the professionals here. We're just here to see that justice is done. Mm. <laughs> like he harumps very well. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> those of you with medicine or biology can see his eyes are basically yes. gone. He's uh, very... His eyes are basically gone. Like, they're very, like, his... Cloudy. Like, okay, vision, sorry, okay. Vision, <laughs> I was like, wait. So his eyes are very cloudy. <laughs> he, can, he, he can walk around the house and see things, but you can tell he wouldn't be able to read or anything. Got it. Like so, um, so who do you want to talk to first? Or do you want to talk to all of them at the same time? Uh, if you want, you can all talk to one of them. 
uh, to get the basic facts of the case, which I can just sort of relate. Let's uh, do that. All right. So you talk to all of them as a group to sort of get the basic details. And here's what everyone agrees on. Around limited. Uh, around limited, like yes. civilized. Yes, of course. And uh, cake. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, and cake, of course. How could I forget that? Um, I don't, I'm don't. i not enough about Southern manners to know what kind of cake would be served. Angel food. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, so here are the facts of the cake. theft. Uh, the company has had the book out each night. When not in use, Irma locks it in the drawer of Professor Derby's desk in the library. The library has been locked since the theft. Uh, you have the key. So, um, the night of the theft, discussions concluded around 10.30 p.m. Irma locked the book in the study, supervised by the scrupulous Bryant. Um, Bryant, Starling, and De La Pour, uh, Roger, walked Bryant by... Bryant again, help me out. Huh? Bryant is the librarian who brought the book here. Okay. From the For University the of Yeah. Well, it's not an auction. It's just a salon. But they want us to think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everything's for sale. <laughs> so Bryant, Starling, and Roger walked back to the lodging house together. They arrived around 11 p.m. Uh, Starling and Roger smoked a pipe on the porch. Bryant went straight to bed. Uh, Irma, Professor Katz, and uh, Professor Derby slept in the Derby house. Uh, Professor Derby retired shortly after the gentleman left. Professor Katz helped Irma with final kitchen cleanup before bed. Uh, nobody locks their doors in Rosa. Um, but so, they didn't lock the library door either? Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. They did lock the door. They did lock the, bu- uh, the book in the study. Uh, Br- Bryant uh, uh, insisted on it because it was loaned out from the University of Alabama. It's his responsibility. Um, so how did they discover the book was missing? The group reconvened for breakfast around 8 a.m. Around 10 a.m., they went to retrieve the Irma went to retrieve the book from the study. She returned with news that they'd been robbed. The lock on the drawer was broken. Uh, one window in the library was open. Bryant called the sheriff, but once neither fingerprints uh, nor uh, footprints or fingerprints of a thief could be identified, he insisted the Alabama library would take responsibility of the situation. Obviously, the call went out from Al- University of Alabama to Arkham uh, to you. And we parachuted uh, in. For the two days it took you guys to get here, the door to the library has been locked. Sheriff Barnes has the key, which is now in your possession. When Brian expressed concern about the window, the sheriff placed several large rocks besides the sash lock where they would cause a loud noise if knocked off. No one's heard a noise. Uh, the last two days have been extraordinarily uncomfortable for everyone. The day... So I count all the zombies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that too. Um, <laughs> the unfortunate zombie menace. The, the day the theft was discovered, they tried resuming academic discussions in the evening. Yesterday, everyone entertained themselves with reading, walking, or small discussions. Um, so, and that's... That, those are all the facts that everyone agrees. So, uh, Does the house have help? Uh, no. Uh, depression. And... Um, uh, they reveal that uh, Mrs. Derby recently died. Uh, Irma's been taking over, trying to do more, but this is probably going to be the last salon. They've been hosting these for years, but now that... Uh, Dear God, not the last salon. <laughs> uh, it is very tragic, salon. but... Um, yeah, what the hell is a salon? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, so... You can talk to one of them, you know, one-on-one to get more information on me. Uh, sorry, ability spins. Um, you can investigate the house itself. Uh, you haven't looked in the library yet. Uh, I'll go, I'm going to go check out the library. All right. Uh, all right, you open up the library. Uh, the rocks are still on the sash. It looks like the window has not been tampered no sand check? With. Okay, good. <laughs> I said the rocks were there. Like. <laughs> you haven't seen anything. But yeah. they're, floating, they're floating five feet in the air. No. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so you're going to the library. What do, what do the rest of you want to do? Uh, you can also go to the library, and, you know, to do other things. You can invent, talk to individual people one on one. Let's talk to Sterling. He's the the onk wearing anthropologist. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna drag. All right, so side. Jack Starling. Sorry, uh, I have nothing but flattery, so I guess I'll talk to her about it. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the library and like look for uh, signs of breaking in Deepery. and entry. So you're going to the library as well. Mm-hmm. All right. So et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so the library. Um, Obviously, uh, the there's a lot of books in the library. So what? Uh, let's see here. You can make you you can tell there's some marks on the on the desk itself. Do you have locksmith? Either of you? I do. I do. All right. Both of you can tell um, without making a spin that the uh, the lock uh, the, an amateur forced it open using a large knife. 
Okay. No, so this was not a professional. No, clearly, it was not picked. It was just. Actually, I guess. Let's, I mean, it, I, I, I guess, well, let's both share a look of amateur. Uh, well, I mean, it's you know like a 19th century uh, desk magic. too, so it would not take a lot of work. I know. Still, we're like, yeah. there's so many ways you could do this without leaving a mark. Um, there's also a lot of books in here. Do you have uh, cryptography? At I do have cryptography. All right. You notice a couple books. Um, Polygraphia and uh, stenography. They are books that teach cryptography while well, masquerading as books of magic. Uh, that's in the library. So you. <laughs> Magic. Um, do either of you have a cult? No. Do you either? I clearly don't believe in that. Nope. Do you either of you have library use? <clears throat> nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, there's a lot of books. I'm there's here, like, I'm investigating books. a theft. So. All right. Uh, well, that's what you figure out from initial examination of the library. So uh, team library has no library use? Yeah. Okay. No, well, I, I'm investigating, I'm investi- oh, it's team theft. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's not... Uh, so, um, you're talking to... You, sir, why don't you go? I do have yes. art history. <laughs> uh, those books look old mm-hmm. and authentic mm-hmm. and probably really valuable. And archaeology, uh, too. That's super uh, useful. So, uh, you talk to Irma. Uh, While we take a walk and survey the holdings. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really like Belloc. Like, what do you, you want to ask her about? You cannot possess, which I cannot take away. <laughs> exactly. Um, or what kind of abilities you want to try and get her to talk about? Or like what kind of topics? You don't have to be specific. Uh, what well, my main concern, dearest Emma, is that... You're you, very forward, Mr. Uh, you, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I cannot but help it. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I know not the restraint the young men of this tiny hollow must contain. <laughs> uh, to leave such a fine that. rose unplucked to this day. Uh, but that is not for me to say. I, I'm merely concerned for your oh. safety with these brigands assaulting your home, besieging it even, coming through the windows like thieves in the night. Well, if only Jacob were here. He was lost in the war, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Terrible, terrible, tragic. Uh, so, yeah. She's were there. it not for my asthma, I would have served nobly myself. Takes a long oh. drag of clove cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, she is too polite to, or, uh, to notice. Or to... Everyone is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you do notice, uh, yeah, she's wearing very old dress, you know, uh, out of style in the largest circles, but, you know, um... Let's see here. Do you... Uh, what do you want to... Yeah, so she she's just like, Oh, I just wanted her father to have one last salon before we had... You know, without without my mother here. Uh, she... she we, we had the most wonderful salons here every summer. and uh, But we just... we just I just can't do it all by myself. And, um, you know, father's getting older anyway. So we can't... We can't do these forever anyway. I just wanted to have one last to talk about our local history. And our, our, our local... Um, uh, uniqueness. It's still a poor. Yes. Uh, what, what, what might you tell? We have not heard the story of local color from my part. Oh, um, well. <laughs> Regale me with stories of your creepy child <laughs> of an ancestor. Well, he's from the New World. I mean, he was 200 years ago, so. Um, Ezekiel, uh, came from, uh, he immigrated here from France. Um, and... He lived here for several years before moving north uh, to settle along here, uh, a trading route, which eventually became Rosa. Um, He bought a large parcel of land from the local Creek uh, tribe, and he married a uh, beautiful French woman, uh, Louise Suleiman, um, and had a large farm built here, uh, created a small sugar plantation. Uh, he, He got slaves from the West Indies. Um, but people began to notice that, uh, he, uh, he was getting, he was buying more slaves than one would need for such a plantation. Um, and several, um, children, uh, disappeared, uh, from nearby towns. Um, and he, they, they approached him, um, and they... Uh, do you have anthropology or history or occult? Or oral I history? have two in a cult. Two in a cult? Um, you've heard of his name before. I also uh, have history and I also have anthropology. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm perfect for this. <laughs> you are. So um, she fills you in the basics. You, you, you know the rest. Uh, basically, they, they, a, a militia was formed. A mob was formed, essentially, because they suspected him for various reasons. Um... And it was uh, at the end of April, 1736, 
when they, uh, you know, set on his on his farmstead, um, they f- they formed a search party. They investigated the plantation. Uh, they gagged him so he could not speak or you know mislead them with spells. Um, they found a disposal site filled with the ashes and child-sized bones, far more than could have come from missing children, most likely uh, enslaved children. Um, they hanged him on an ancient ash tree beside his house um, and then buried him at the base. Um, they removed the bones from the ash pit and gave them proper burial uh, at a church in Fort Lewis. Uh, the house was burned, and the slaves were auctioned off uh, to other colonizers. Um, no one's rebuilt on the side of this house, uh, but uh, she does mention the foundation and the tree still remain. Of course. Um, let's see here. You also uh, know that after his arrival in the region, some indigenous inhabitants moved south closer to the forts. Uh, previous art anthropologists have thought it was trade-related and a precursor to the alliance in the French and Indian War a century later, but um, you've heard, uh, you've actually heard of Rebe- uh, Professor Katz, who's uh, researching a theory that the two may be connected. Um, uh, let's see here. Ezekiel de la Pura descended from a cousin line of the de la Pura family whose ancestor lived in France during the unpleasant incident in which Walter de la Pura massacred the family's uh, main English branch. Um, so so they have another mass murderer yeah. across the pond. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Roger's related, more closely related to that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> see, Lovecraft's the rats in the walls. Bloodline uh, here's of the thing, murderers. Yeah. We don't trust uh, From a cult, you know, the popular cult history of French... Louisiana from the mid 1800s includes his name on a list of white men who practiced voodoo, uh, particularly zombification. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, if your 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 knowledge of the occult uh, recognizes the lurid exaggeration common in such reports, particularly since the modern concept of zombies did not exist until after his lifetime, uh, spurious sensationalism, or is there historical nugget of truth? So, anyways. Uh, so that's your con- yes. Uh, so that's your talk with Irma, and you're remembering of certain facts and details. Um, you're talking to Jack Starling. I am. He's a cultist. Um, he quickly starts bragging about his rise and his uh, um, in the local field uh, field uh, so fo- yeah. uh, theosophical society. Wow. The spiritualists. Uh, and theosophists? Like, yeah, theosophists. Uh, uh, he was also recently hired by the German government to insist on one of their occult projects. Uh, I, and then, of course, I am, of course, the reincarnation of an English, of an uh, ancient Egyptian pharaoh, so of course I am qualified for such work. Because <laughs> he's Chris Angel. Uh, I do everything in my power not to vomit immediately <laughs> at his presence. Uh, yeah, you know, basically, <laughs> that's the common reaction. Most researchers refuse to work with him. Uh-huh. So far, he hasn't done anything that has discredited him yet, uh, aside yeah. from his showmanship. Aside from I can't roll my eyes any harder. Like if you did, right. like, ah! yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. What do you want to talk about? Um, <laughs> not being gross. <laughs> so that was sort of the introduction, like, about. you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. All quite impressive, sir. Um, but with your eccentric... Background to supplant your anthropology. I must wonder, have you seen this creature that has uh, been so famously uh, destroyed by the local? Concert? I've heard. I've heard the townspeople talk, but no, I. They, the sheriff isn't going to let someone like me look at the morgue. Mm. I, I've, I even offered to conduct a séance to learn more to to converse with the creature, but <laughs> the, the sheriff refused my offer of help. Perhaps you could put a word in. I. Try to resist the temptation to walk out of the room and scream. Um, yes, yes, I'm, I'm sure that would be so, so helpful to what is going on right now. Uh, but, dear sir, do you? I, I assume you know quite a bit of the lore. Of, of course, course, yes. So, this... tell me, what creatures tend to haunt the dreams of these people's stories? What, what, what is the? Um, what tends to be the fables that? Uh, do you have a cult? 
Ah, uh, no, damn it. I don't have a cult. I have... Well, you know... Cryptography? Von... No, that's okay. that's code-breaking. Um, that is code-breaking. Fuck. Which is used well, in this scenario, uh, but not in this particular instance. Um, I'm a scientist, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he starts talking, and he's, he mentions, well, of course, what well, well, will well, you know uh, Von Junsen's quote about this? Uh, I'm afraid I do not. Oh, I come back because yeah. Irma bores me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, he, he he's you're not gonna get the version. Yeah. Okay. So you're walking to Irma's like, well, I I must uh, attend to the other guests. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Oh, understandable. Yes. I feel so much better knowing that a, a man of honor such as yourself is looking into this. Yes. Fret no more. Yes. Your your night has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, sir. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you see Jack Starling sort of trolling uh, Professor Porter, or Dr. Porter, um, and yeah, you, you over I, I come up to... Yeah. What's your name? Dr. Porter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that whole face bore is <laughs> terrible. Yes. You are such a cat. I have family history. My lord. <laughs> oh, I, I hope this wild-eyed gentleman is more entertaining. By all means, I crave sir. diversion. By all <laughs> means, I'm sure Doctor Sterling will uh, regale you with his tales of uh, who's uh, what. What, uh, what was that gentleman you were quoting, sir? Uh, von Drunes, of course. Yes, von Drunes. Uh, I have a cult to two. Is it spend or uh, for basic? Um, you. He does mention I. I'll am... spend. He sounds German. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's off-putting. <laughs> well, I'm researching many European families and their connection to lost knowledge. Humanity, um, you know, the, the, there's, of course, reincarnation and there, there's spiritual resurrection. Um, the, the, I believe humans once... Von Jones, you know, talked in great lengths about the secrets of resurrection and immortality. Um, I'm... I'm so far, uh, De La Porra's writings mention nothing of where he learned his arts. He talks, of course, about his, um, you know, apprentices and his time in, uh, in, in France, of the, of the time he slew... Uh, 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 there's an interesting uh, quote of uh, making the dead work his fields in France. Uh, but, of course, now that the book is gone, I cannot, I cannot finish. This is very frustrating mm. to me. Um, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so you, 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 yeah, he's researching resurrection and mortality, uh, things like that. And he thinks uh, Poer uh, had something to say about that. Um, All those coming back to Poe. Uh, he also does mention, uh, well, you know, of course, the creatures that have been mentioned in many books uh, in, in this very library, uh, cults, the ghouls, and unspeakable cultants uh, of the of the those that uh, roamed, uh, lived in the graveyards and, and the, the charnel houses, uh, those that would follow the beckoning of necromancers. Um, such creatures, uh, you know, are describing various things, uh, and uh, you know, we. They, they, I could show you the passages if you want. Oh, indeed, Dr. Selling. Go on. Oh, oh of course. Uh, <laughs> that, the, the, the professor is an excellent library, I have to say. Uh, it was crave stimulation out here for to have <laughs> such a wide and varied reading. All right. Um, so are you doing that? Uh, Lafleur, Le Lala. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Um, do you want to talk to someone else? Do you want to search the house? Um, the I would like. Well, I'll, it's one... a two-story house, uh, and uh, so in attic. the library, like There's breaking and entering, we found the the safe that like was obviously broken into. Well, it was a desk. It was desk, a desk drawer. Sorry. Yeah. Desk drawer that was obviously it was forced like, open with a knife. Uh, you also didn't see any. Um, into. The door inside itself was locked, and no one. Were there signs uh, of entry from the door, or was it only someone from must have had the key? Is the only thing you can think okay. of, or pick the lock expertly. Okay, uh, but then no... force the drawer yeah. open inexpertly. Yeah, so okay. that doesn't make sense. Unless there's two of them, an expert and a fraud. Yeah. Where was the key <laughs> kept? Um, uh, let's see. That's a good question. Do, 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 do. Didn't oh. Bryant have it because he locked it up? Uh, Wasn't Bryant see. the last person to have it? Uh, Irma had the had it last. Brian mm, just Irma. What a guy. You just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. She... Um, you can talk to her about that. Uh, well, I guess I will. Or you can search the house. Or you can talk to... No one's talked to Bryant or Katz so far. Or Roger. Um, Raj. But, uh, yeah. You want to talk to Raj? I'll talk to Raj. <laughs> All right. Um, he is 
Uh, let's see here. He's sort of in his 40s. He's a quiet middle-aged man. He wears a, an air of resignation born of a... Well, you know, you... A life of child murder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, what? Or being descended from child murder. <laughs> um, so, he... Um, you notice he has a very good... As Lala, you, you notice he has a very valuable-looking signet ring descri- inscribed with a D... Um, what a fascinating ring you have on there, sir. Oh, yes, I purchased it from an antique dealer in London. Uh, I was trying... Um, this is this started as a genealogical project uh, to find out about my family history since I heard about what happened. <laughs> that uh, was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> uh, what a fool. An Exum Priory. Um, yes. So, I, yes, it, perhaps it was a mistake, but perhaps it was inevitable. Um... So he often fiddles with his signet ring as he talks to you. Um, what do you want to talk about? What was inevitable? Well, uh, do you have reassurance? I have... Uh, Hypnotize him! Interrogation, intimidation, and streetwise, but no reassurance. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you want to use? What Hypnotize do you wanna... the shit out of me! <laughs> I do have hypnosis as well. Also, um, you smell a faint chemical. Do you have photography? No, I do not have. God, that. I have every skill. I have art, though. <laughs> I, do I have reassurance of God for your photography. Really uh, I have when, pharmacy, actually. Uh, you, you, he's obviously handled uh, uh, developing chemicals, um, so he must be have uh, interest in photography. Okay. So you figure that out. Um, I wasn't invited collection. to the salon. <laughs> <laughs> I have photography. Do I notice that? Uh, yeah, you you can talk to him. About no, that. Actually, uh, you have. Mind if I see some of the some of your pictures? Well, I just wander away. <laughs> uh, he left. Uh, well, my camera's at the boarding house, um, and I haven't had a chance to develop them. Of course, um, they, I, I, I just been so distracted by the events. I haven't. I haven't thought to. Um, I mean, are you are you capable of developing? I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. My photography of one would that be enough? It would be enough if you wanted to make a spend. Uh, but you have to go to the board. You'd have to leave. Go to the boarding house. And then, right. do you have credit rating? Uh, yes, I do. Wait, what? I have it at two. Uh, you'd have to spend a point to buy the chemicals to do it. All right, I'll spend so, both. All right, so you're going to go. Uh, Who knows? Maybe there. Maybe he caught a glimpse of someone like like. <laughs> yes. Woods um, camera. My guy kind of looks like Prince now that I've drawn him. <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks like Carmen San Diego. So <laughs> kind of give him a Jerry curl. That's nice. Kind of looks like Prince. That's nice. I was just going to draw. All right. I was so, just going to draw a Punisher. So you're leaving. Line. You're you're escorting. Um, Roger, back to the boarding house mm-hmm. so you can go do that. All right, so that'll take you a while. Um, <laughs> so uh, the rest of you, I guess, kind of wander in the library to over here. I'm going to go search the house. You're going to search the rest of the house? Yep. Um, I'm in the library with Starling, I, have, I guess, because he's reading the passages. Yeah. And I have Filch, which seems like it might I'm come so in handy here. All right. Uh, let's see here. So you start searching. Um... Oh, actually, do you have evidence collection? I do. I have two in evidence collection. You want to make a spin? Sure. <laughs> All right. You look through the kitchen because uh, you realize, hey, that desk door was opened by a large knife. So there should probably be a large knife somewhere around that, here. These, well, there's multiple ones, but there's one with some scratches on it. Oh, that how? look like... Uh, Suspicious. Yeah. Uh, also, you notice, uh, because you spent the point, uh-huh. um, the meat grinder has been really heavily used. Uh, it's practically worthless at this oh, point. Dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, uh, in the library, people can overhear those in the library. Um, he, Starling, points out unspeakable Colton in the original German, a type reproduction of Cult the Ghouls, uh, commentaries on witchcraft, uh, uh, Magnalia Christa Americana, uh, polygraphia and steganography, um, and a typed copy of the Statement of Randolph Carter and the Witch Cult in Western (laughs) Europe. Um, So, uh, let's see here. You, do you have, you, I assume you have library use. Yes. All right. Um, Magnalia looks like it has, it's been, uh, are you going to make a spend? Or are you... Sure. All right. I have one point, one or two point. I only have one point. Okay. So I think you know that answer. <laughs> um, you pick open Mag. Uh, I got one left in a cult. Let's see here. Uh, this is definitely library use. Uh, okay. uh, you can. Do you have library use as well? Uh, 
I yes, I have lots of. Them. All right, you can you can team teamwork. Both yes. of you are in the library looking at exactly. team this library. Um, because <laughs> this is an old dusty library, you can tell which books have been used recently, uh, and also these are the kind of books that would be referenced repeatedly. I feel very smug. Like, why did we even need a present? Uh, <laughs> these old, these are very old books. So if you open the book up, lay it flat on the table, and just let it go, it'll open up to the pa- uh, passage that has been most recently used or used referenced frequently. Uh-huh. So you do this. Um, so uh, on, let's see here. Uh, kill a man. <laughs> on the book Magnalia Christi Americana, uh, I might be able to. The, there is a passage that is uh, the passage that you, it seems to be referenced frequently. Uh, speaks of. Uh, the essential salts of animals may be so prepared and preserved that an ingenious man may have a whole ark of Noah in his own study and raise the fine shape of an animal out of its ashes at his pleasure. And by the like method from the essential salts of humane dust, a philosopher may, without any criminal necromancy, call up the shapes of any dead ancestor from the dust whereunto the, his body has been incinerated. Sidebar, are we really doing essential salts again? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write this. Essential right, well, salt, big bad of uh, the. Well, that's a load of bull hawk, right? Also, but it's interesting. Not even through the mythos yet. So. <laughs> that's, that's that's a load of bull hawkery, but it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Jerry pokery. What? Let's see here. Uh, Cult of Ghouls, the most recent, most frequently referenced thing, is an unsettling an illustration of a creature which resembles the burned specimen. Uh, you saw at the uh, morgue, um, the Uh-oh. makeshift morgue. Uh, one creature peers on its haunches on a gravestone while another peers cunningly from behind a gravedigger's hat. Where a shovel we? out over his shoulder. Um, but you also notice three pages have been, the following three pages have been expertly cut out. Oh, so it doesn't in fact tell me what that creature is, does nope. it? Well, it's, son of a bitch. Uh, but Just it's gives a very, you a hint. But with the two of you put together, besides book, the library contains years of research notes carefully organized into folders. Uh, looking through the folders... Uh, well, it appears, my dear fine southern friend, we've let's see. found something, but <laughs> uh, not enough of you it. You identify two things of interest. Two uh, things of interest? Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Which are copied passages uh, from uh, the journal, it looks like. Uh, translated from French. Later for French, so you can both read those. So that'll take that. This takes hours, by the way, because this is looking through a lot of books and sort of figuring out what's going on there. Um, so the kitchen, you look through that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Heavily here. used meat grinder and the knife. Uh, and a knife that was used for, almost certainly used for the forceful uh, entry. Uh, forceful of the entry. Yep. Desk. Uh, bathroom. Uh, it's a smaller bathroom. There's a new flush toilet. Uh, there's an ancient claw tub. You know. Um, they're, so it's recently been upgraded in the last couple of years. So they have indoor plumbing. Good for them. Hmm, fancy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Can you imagine what happens when this town gets a traffic light? Oh, you shit. Big see... Day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Irma's in Professor Derby's room. Of course, that's a sort of an invasion of privacy, so you're going to have to... Uh, I can pick that lock and be stealthy about it. Uh, well, the, the door's unlocked, but yeah, get a stealth check if I would useful. Okay. Um... I'll spend two. Okay. And that's a five. All right. You sneak in a room. Uh, it contains a basic bed, wardrobe, and desk. Uh, the tidy dresses date from primarily from the 1910s. Nothing made since the end of World War I. Uh, on her neatly organized writing desk sits a pile of folded letters tied with a ribbon, uh, an inkwell, and pen. Uh, there's a copy of the 1936 Ford Farm Almanac, fax book, a candle burned to the stub, and a typewriter. Um, let's see here. The letters are addressed to Irma uh, at, at a school. All bear her mother's signature and date from the mid-1910s. It's obviously important to her you know, to keep these letters. Uh, let's see here. You, what do you want to use? You could do, what, uh, what do you want to do? Oral history to read over Well, that's them. talking to people. Uh, oh, this would definitely okay. not be an interpersonal. Unless um, you want to talk to her about it, which, of course, you, you would have to admit that you were no, in her no, place. No, 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 <laughs> no. So you don't have a lot of time. Let's go with uh, evidence Filch. Collect- well, Filch is stealing from people. Do you have evidence collection? I have evidence collection as well. All right. You could search the room to see if, uh, just a basic look through the room, let's see if there's anything interesting. Um, if you want to do that. 
Yeah, that sounds good because I don't have anything that's like going to give me any sort of quick reading skills. So. Um, let's see. You find both typewriter and letter paper in her desk drawer. Half a dozen sheets discarded in the waste bin. These have been written over several times uh, in what appears to be Latin. Do you have cryptography? No. Why would I have that? But can I can, can I pocket some of that? You can pocket that. Um, also, you find you open the almanac to April. You know this month, mm -hmm. uh, and you find the entries. Uh, there are some handwritten notes uh, talking about the there's sunrise and moonrise are circled, uh, and next to it, one fifty seven midnight equals one fifty seven and one fifty seven dash six fifty three p.m. about seven hours. Um, looks like moonrise and moonset. So she there are some. So she's tracking the moon. Mm hmm. And uh, I've got some Latin. Mm hmm. So that, then you hear her coming by. So do you want to try and sneak out? Yes. All right. Give me another check. <laughs> um, let's see here. Are you going to spend? Yep. I'm how trying to decide spend? how much I'm going to spend. I'm just going to spend one. Okay. Six. All right. She did not seem to notice you. Can I follow her? Uh, she's, yeah, you follow her. I she, have shadowing. Uh, you don't need to shadow her. You're supposed okay. to be there. Uh, she's just serving more lemonade to oh. Professor Katz. Okay. Uh, and Brian, who is very worried. He's, he's just like, God, why, uh, they've been here for hours. Why can't they, I, I assume the book would already be found by now. I'm going to lose my job. Oh, God, no. How, oh, I should never have been. Yeah, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it seems uh, the librarian is having a nervous breakdown mm -hmm. uh, about the book. So, mm -hmm. um, Are we done in the library yet? Uh, you two finished with the library. Uh, meanwhile, let's see here. Sorry. Uh, Do not Brian care Herman. about this librarian's mental breakdown. Uh, let's see here. You talk to Roger, and you get his uh, photos. Uh, and I assume you're just going to take as long as it takes to... Good. Um, how many points of photography do you have? One. So you're gonna spend, are you going to spend that point? I did. All right. Um, he shows you the photographs from the Virginia estate that he's been taking. It's a ruined plantation. Macabre carvings decorate the family's mausoleum, grinning grave diggers and a large rat playing about the skulls. Um, he also gives you the negatives and remarks, uh, you know, so it takes you... Um, process requires a minimum of one hour and approximately eight more hours for the film to dry somewhere fairly safe and entirely dark. Um, you develop the prof skill more professionally, so um, it's going to be down for way to the mark. It takes eight hours for it to... That's what I'll do. All right. But this is his Virginia estate, so this is sort of figuring background on him. Yeah. Um, he hasn't taken any oh, photos of uh, this yet because Reasons. he's been kind of distracted. Mm -hmm. uh, so, hey, yeah, you never know. There yeah. might be something. He did mention that he wanted to check out the foundations of the De La Pura, uh house, the one that was burned mm -hmm. down uh, 200 years ago, but you know, he hasn't gotten around to it yet. He doesn't know if he will now. See, he, 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 he does mention... Uh, you, you, there's so a, he, he knows where it is, right? Yeah, as you go into his room at the boarding house, you see the uh, his pistols that kept at the nightstand. Um, so... Uh, Revolver? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Revolver? Yep. Just okay. expecting trouble. Sometimes I think I, I dream, and sometimes <laughs> I wonder about my, my bloodline. I don't want to turn out like... I do. Well, I shouldn't talk about it. Uh, well, some of my ancestors. <laughs> I, 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 I check it out, you know. Yeah. We should just kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, I, I got, I'm guessing like a 38. Yeah. He's like spinning. Like, yeah. He's like, he kind of flunches as you you, you, like, you pull it back. Like, put it back in the hole. I get was it in a holster. No, it was just on the nightstand. Do put you it back. Just, yeah. like, it's very yes. nice. Yes, I'm I gonna do. pass you. Well, it's it's okay. pretty good. Pretty good gun. Pretty good starting gun. Uh, yes, starting gun. Yes, uh, <laughs> I think it'll be all I would I would need. Um, yes, Th right. thank you. I, I look forward to the developed f pictures. Yes, indeed. I think they're going to turn out just fine. Oh, uh, by the way, are you developing them in his bathroom? Uh, Mine. I, okay, yours. All right. Uh, yeah, by the way, you get rooms at the boarding house. You'll have to... There's mm -hmm. only three rooms available, so two of you have to share a room. Uh, there are only six rooms not total. Me. Uh, not me. Absolutely not me. <laughs> <laughs> not I think me. it's going to come down to, to Rochambeau between me and the, me and the rich boy. <laughs> right. He's just like, 
You should know that I, I have viv- I have vivid nightmares about the war, and I wake up <laughs> screaming sometimes with my gun. Uh, I, 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 really, I really don't. <laughs> All right. So by this time, it's dinner time. Uh, you've been working. You've been looking at the house for hours. Um, oh well, uh, well, you do have time to check out Professor Derby's room. Uh, he's pretty easy. Um, he's blind. We can sneak in there. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> uh, there's a bed. There's a there's a nightstand. That's it. Yep. Um, he he can't he can't read on his own. So uh, he doesn't have any need for anything else in his room. So, um, but is there anything else in his room? Um, you have evidence collection. You, you I do have evidence collection. Yeah. You, no. You. I assume you two uh, look through it. Yeah. There's nothing else there. Yeah. So the pages him... we read were from Irma's diary? Uh, no. They were copied from the missing book. Because they're dated 1726. What did they say page from Irma's yeah. diary, though? Oh. Uh, this one. Okay. Oh, these are... She wrote, She copied them from the book. Oh, okay. okay. So they're gotcha. part of her research notes. Um, probably taken... I was about to blow a hole in her, yeah, yeah. just to be sure. Uh... <laughs> No, yeah, she, they're from her research. Which? Oh, phrasing. <laughs> phrasing. Uh, I uh, handed it, he, he's got cryptology, so I handed him the Latin. Okay, that'll papers. take you a couple hours to work through an appointment. Fine. Uh, so you still haven't, so it's dinner time, you still haven't talked to the folklorist or Brant, the librarian, um, but you can stop for dinner uh, or and talk about what Ooh, you want to Oh, I don't want to heat ear. Huh? I do not want to eat at this house. <laughs> there should be lots of no. There's a boarding house. There's a boarding house. Yeah, a boarding house. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. you guys we would talk about what your next move is. I'm getting a drink. <laughs> uh, talk amongst yourselves. We would never impose ourselves as a guest. On a bunch of cannibals. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> I shall sup at home. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so still got to read the friggin' Latin. Because that always goes so well. I say we take them out squirrel hunting one at a time. <laughs> then one of us says, Of course not you. With Are you nice a ghoul? <laughs> I know you You have to tell me if yeah, you're you a ghoul. Me, cool. <laughs> and then we're like, alright, I'm a ghoul. And then we kill that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go get the next one. <laughs> no, the other thing is like, okay, you're a ghoul. Did you steal the book? <laughs> Right. Like, well, then I'm like, no, I'm just a, I'm just a creature. Ross, that eats does that actually taste like unicorn? <laughs> uh, oh wow! <laughs> I didn't see the unicorn. I bought, yeah, I bought a regular pack of Dr Pepper, cracked it open, and blah, unicorn. Behold the it, unicorn! It, 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 it tastes like Dr Pepper. I don't, I don't <laughs> taste any unicorn. So, are, are there sparkle tears in there? And I don't want to taste any human flesh. So <laughs> we return to the boarding house. <laughs> Um, like I said, some of the other hey, the guests uh, to go with it, you. I don't Roger, care if they're a ghoul, as long as I didn't uh, steal the book. Bryant and um, Starling. Uh, yes, they're I'm all guests there as well. Well, that's not why we're here. Um, <laughs> so you all have dinner. You discuss the, the matter amongst yourselves yeah. mm-hmm. uh, for a little bit. I assume you're going to be... Is there a fireplace? Yeah. Or something? Yeah, yeah. There's Is it some by summer or winter? What's the time? I share some terribly refined alcohol with <laughs> whatever plot... Oh yeah, I should tell you about sack the, the comes <laughs> close to me. <laughs> the, the nearest plot sack. Uh, I shake it by so the ankles. It's like plot the plot. finest brand. You, you have any plot in you? I'm looking for plot. <laughs> um, <laughs> by the way, her house is in a regular place with several generations worth of additions and a screened wraparound porch populated by wicker chairs and stuffed rockers. Oh my. Uh, It'd be lovely for sharing a, yes, uh, a brandy. She, Snifter. She hardly does robust business. Uh, Mrs. Dawes runs it. Uh, Dollars. Uh, yeah, uh, and her her she of course tells you about her eight children who have all gone to various cities or died in the war. Her husband is dead, so she like, rents the rooms and like, lives yeah, in the. It's like silly. Trust me, like they got the fuck out as quickly as they could, um, either through moving or death. <laughs> <laughs> so um, normally there would be locals here. This is sort of like the town gathering place. Uh, again, population one hundred thirteen. But since you know. The maulings uh, and the dead walking. <laughs> terrible for business. Yeah, it's terrible for socializing, too. <laughs> so now she's like, oh my gosh, she has a full house. So you're decrypting things. Uh, you're talking to Roger. He, he's out there. Uh, you can talk to him uh, a little bit uh, more. Is that uh, the shifty one? Uh, yeah, that's the descendant of the... Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're all a little shifty. 
He smells yeah. like I wanted to talk when we hadn't talked to you. Yet. Brian actually he says, smells like plot. Um, does approach you and uh, let's see, he approaches you, uh, Herman. Mm-hmm. Says, so do you think you'll find the book soon? It's hard to say. Cases, you know, like He's cases. He's a very can nervous take, and fastidious. Cases guy. can take a long time, but uh, a long time. I, I hardly, I hardly think we're dealing with a professional. Oh. Oh, uh, so you, you think the book is nearby? It can be recovered safely, intact. Well, considering that no place is no place is easy to get to get to from this town, I'd be surprised if they weren't still here. Oh, oh, good, good. Um, uh, yeah, 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 it was it was against regulations in the first place. I should never have taken it. Right. We can look back and argue about woulda, shoulda, coulda, <laughs> but worry about that's worry about that's ridiculous. Okay, you got to look forward. Uh, yes. My ears perk up when he says something was against regulations. Yes. Because it's criminal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so I'm like, why was it against reg- regulations? What, well, why, did you rare... bring it, why did you bring it out here? Well, uh, uh, Irba is very persuasive, you know, and she said it was for the la- something special for the last salon. And I've been to I've been a good guest to to, to her and her father uh, for many for many of these salons, and yeah. I, I agreed. I thought it would. I, it's within my purview. I still so think we need to kill her. Uh, <laughs> she seems like the dangerous uh, one. Are <laughs> uh, you no. sure you meant to call her horse face? I, I know. We talked. <laughs> I may like a little quite accurate guy. <laughs> well, I was looking at that guy. I mean, he's just doing some pull ups. No threat there. <laughs> that guy's not snarling. He's sneezing. <laughs> I saw this, this little girl, white girl, and I'm getting Hesitated. Well, I mean, you know, Irma was only insisting on her father's behalf, of course, you know, because Professor, uh, uh, she, she's been doing everything for her father, you know, since his, since, you know, his wife passed away, uh, 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 you know, bless his heart. Um, and, uh, but I, I, I was, oh, God, I'm like, Does the professor engage in a lot of these conversations? The salons? Yes. Yes, of course. We've been having them every every summer, every spring, uh, every year for decades now. It was it was very. What would uh, you say is his most notable contribution? Oh, uh, Professor Derby. Well, mm-hmm. let's see here. He he he's a. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, right. Let's see. Let me tell you about. Let me tell you about storming the Hindenburg Line. Uh, he only, oh, let's see, he was a... <laughs> Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam uh, story. He has a, his, his doctorate is in American folklore. Okay. Uh, from Tulane University in Louisiana. Um, they, uh, he, he recently taught in University of Alabama until he retired as a professor. He's, t- he's still a professor emeritus, you know. Um, he... Uh, when did he go blind? Uh, well, he's not totally blind, but... Um, mostly blind. <laughs> mostly blind. There's a big difference between mostly blind and all... And all the way blind. <laughs> well, I, 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 I couldn't pinpoint it. Mostly blind. Um, his, his wife only died a few blind, years ago. Only um, go through his pockets. Let's see change. here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's see. After he stopped teaching, um, after he stopped teaching, he started collecting rare occult texts. Uh, that was so. It was about ten years ago when he started uh, collecting more. I'm sure that's uh, his cool. eyesight was failing. Yep. Uh, his his checking. daughter Definitely. became his eyes essentially. Uh-huh. Um, Listening to he, his deep one but, interesting. But before her death, he, they often that's hosted these cool. month long summer salons. They invited God, we, all kinds of young <laughs> academics and doctoral students would come to enjoy roses, you know, fresh air and get away from this the. Big Big city of Birmingham, um, and um, well, so let's, let's say she died last year. Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. And yes. they, they uh, wanted to have one last salon before he. he How did she retired. die? Oh, of, of um, uh, deadness. Uh, yeah, just uh, I'm not sure a disease of some sort. I'm not sure which. A I sudden d- disease? No, no. It was. Oh. You know, she was. She was never. She was always of a delicate right. constitution. And that one. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, you all of her 70 years, she's always Anyways, been of a delicate. Uh, you talked to Roger Light, quite delicate, <laughs> gentle and... flower. And let's see here, do you have reassurance? Me, I do. All right, uh, you have everything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here. God, I have reassurance. Well, I mean, you actually, there's several other versions. How? Of like, is that more possible? Approach, I don't know. I, he seems rather delicate. It. I'm really good at, like, it's perfectly fine. Oh, reassure him. All right. Um, I really thought about intimidation. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I care not one whit about reassuring him. Um, 
Well, perhaps it's all my fault. It's, it seems my family's destiny to just bring ruin upon others. And, and, and just, I, I come here and then this happens. It's clearly my fault. So it's it's uh, oh. um, the, the 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 things I've heard of uh, the, the the rats in the walls, uh, the, the murders, the cannibalism. Um, right. Who's so. a cannibal? Oh, Mr. Dillapo, I find your candor quite refreshing. <laughs> uh, often in the South, we do bury over the scandals of our past and our bloodline, as I'm sure you know, <laughs> with a thin sheen of heritage and pride. And it, I, I just find it delightful to sign a man so in touch with his honesty and so true in virtue that he has no time for such obfuscations. You want to make a point, Spinner? Yeah. All right. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I did have dreams of... um, Stream, you know, when my cousin began renovating the house at Accident Predator, I started having strange dreams almost at the same time of uh, ancestral dreams. Um, it, was, it was actually quite exciting. I, I, restoring the manor to its ancient glory uh, of, of priestesses whispering secrets in my ears um, and, and the rows of robed beings bowing to me. Um, so uh, it was um, quite exciting. And I thought, uh, but it was just a dream, of course, you know. Hmm, indeed, yes. yes. Uh, but I, I, I understand your point, sir. Um, in the distance, uh, at this point, you see uh, a bit of red, uh, and you know it's a cigarette burning. Uh, you see, uh, and you smell clove coming from downwind. You see, uh, you realize it's Jack Starling smoking uh, away from you, uh, but uh, hmm. he stepped away from the windscreen. Uh, and give me a sense trouble check. I don't have that. I do have that. I'll spend all of it. <laughs> How much is that? Two. Okay. <laughs> I make it. All right. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, you hear uh, your eyes are accustomed to the dark because you've been sitting out there after it's gotten dark. Uh, and, um, you know, the house is a there, the Mrs. Dawes does not do great yard work. It's kind of overrun with weeds and tall bushes, and one of them stirs. Uh, and then you, you smell a faint odor, distinct and separate uh, from the club cigarettes. Uh, and a smell you smelled under the under the ice house this morning. Um, a smell of death, but a strange kind of death. Uh, and what do you do? <coughs> It is the bushes. The, the Do bushes. you have a long arm, Mr. Dillapore? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I. Uh, Shame that. I walk inside to go get my gun and throw my cigarette out. <laughs> All right, you hear Jack Starling scream um, <laughs> as something jumps out of the bushes at him. Um, so. Uh, Shame that. Give me a stability check. <laughs> I, the Huns returned! <laughs> I don't make that one. All right, that's two. <laughs> um, so yeah, you... a jackal's eating the phrenologist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just go into combat. Uh, what? <laughs> what are you on about, man? <laughs> all right, all of you heard the screaming. Um, let's see here. Uh, we'll just Suppressing go from left to right. Fire. Uh, where are you right now, Lala? Uh, I believe I was in my room. All right. Do you hear screaming I coming hear from screaming, outside? I screaming. I run downstairs. Uh, I assume are you taking your handgun with you? Yes, I am. All right. You have your revolver in mm-hmm. hand. Uh, Dr. Porter, what, where are you? I am somewhere where there's a lot of light trying to read the fucking Latin. You're downstairs then, okay. in um, sort of dining room area. There's there's uh, some oil lamps and a fireplace, uh, so that's what you're doing. Uh, what are you, what are you going to do? That I you see Lala running down the stairs with a gun. I, and I shot at that maniac as he <laughs> runs by with a shotgun. What is going on, man? Uh, we'll have no Inquisition here, you theosophist <laughs> consuming hell. <yeah. laughs> we'll, we'll get to you. In a second. Uh, I'm, so, I'm intimidating it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fails. Uh, uh, Herman, what are you going to do? Running out, 
with my gun. All right, yeah, you you would have your handgun. Um, so, <laughs> all right, would so, have your handgun. <laughs> uh, he is a private PI, so uh, that is reasonable. Um, I'm suffering from the worst case of. So you were in the living room as you were in the dining room as well. You were in the first yeah, floor. Actually, actually, I love it. <laughs> uh, you were in the living room as well. Uh, the dining room as well, and near him, uh, basically talking to Brian, trying to reassure him. You know that you're going to find the book. He's really worried about that. So you step out on the porch. Uh, Roger is, of course, paralyzed in fear, sitting on a chair. Um, you look over. You see. Well, it's quite dark though, so your eyes aren't adjusted to the dark. So you can give me a sense trouble check. Two, five. Okay. Um, you hear a screen door opening uh, on the south wall. You remember it's a wraparound porch. They have doors on, uh, mm-hmm. I'll say, on each side. So um, something is opening the door just around the corner uh, to get inside on the porch. Uh, but have... there is one creature standing over the body. Uh, well, Jack Starling. Uh, Actually, I'm going to go check out that opening door. Okay, so you're going to walk around the corner? Where's... Okay. Uh, you walk around the corner and uh, you see it. Uh, as it was trying to be stealthy, it crouched down, but then it sees you. Uh, it is a humanish thing, uh, but its jaws are too big, its fangs are too large. It has fangs, which, you know, humans It, it shouldn't, probably shouldn't It have shouldn't them. be. Uh, <laughs> glowing red eyes, uh, <laughs> under the, the weak light of the oil lamp. Um, well, actually, no, it's, it's, it's pretty much dark out here. They don't have the oil lamps outside. Um, there's some, yeah, the light from the, the kitchen, mm-hmm. uh, barely illuminates it, and it sees you, so... So we'll get back to you in a second. Um, you went inside to run up to get your shotgun, mm-hmm. uh, which is in your room on the second floor. Uh, do you want to make an athletic check to get past Lala? Get past? <laughs> yeah, She's coming I'm down, running the down the stairs. Oh. With my gun. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I make it. I spent two or... All right, yeah, you get Parkour. Past. Yeah, you listen to it. Talk me about it. So you get the shotgun. Um, and the game is afoot. You get the shotgun and load it. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get more shells, though, you have to. You have to. Speak. I can't. I don't have pockets. Uh, well, you we have to stuff them. Uh, I guess you can grab a handful. Of I shells. can grab a box of shells. All right. uh, you grab a box of it's shells. It's a fucking double barrel. Give All me right. something. <laughs> All right. You see, this um, is the thirties. They didn't make anything with the pockets. <laughs> All right. So we'll go to Herman first because it's really his his action first. Uh, you see the creature. It sees you. Uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. Um, I assume you're going to try and shoot it, uh, Herman. I am. Okay. Probably. <laughs> he is considered. Yeah. Right. It's like, well, I've considered all the evidence and the uh, criteria before <laughs> me, and it's come to my conclusion that I will kill this thing. <laughs> all right. Die. Go ahead and roll. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Firearms. Yeah, where'd go? There it is. How many are you spending? Two. All right. Thank you. Six. Four. You hit. Roll d6. Six. Six. Dang. All right. The bullet impacts it. Uh, you shoot at center mass that if that was human he would be dead because he would have a very large hole in his chest you're shooting quite close range with a large caliber handgun uh, but it, it sort of reacts and then it charges you um, it is going to spend uh, three points of scuffling so to claw at you because it doesn't like and, you uh... it's still up yes <laughs> <laughs> oh look it hit uh, <laughs> so uh, that's only two points of damage, as it, it clips your shoulder. Oh, wait, you had a 1911, right? That's a plus one, so it would have been seven hit points. Uh, I thought handguns were all, uh, D6. Okay. 1911 is, is on the plus one. Do, do, do. All right. Um, yeah, so it's still up. Uh, and, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to find health here. Health is in the top left. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Well, here in the top left, you can just mark it up. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, so you've taken two damage. How many do you have left? Uh, I had seven to start. So you have five left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it gets bad when you start getting to like two. You actually can go below zero. Um, but we'll get to... Actually, no, it's only when you get to zero that you're... Yeah, that you take any penalties. Yeah. 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 Yep. So you're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's um, fine. I grab, a, I grab an oil lamp on the way out. Uh, well, f- well, now we're going to the rest. Uh, okay. So Lala, 
You're downstairs at the bottom of the stairs. You want to run out. You hear a gunshot uh, coming from outside. You see right. a little dilettante parkour over you. Yeah. <laughs> he's going, he's running you? upstairs. I mean, did I even see that it was so fast? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so what do you want to do? you want to rush out the, the same way that Herman went? Um, or do you want to take another door out? He's Herman? Herman went outside. Uh, yeah. You saw that. And then you heard a gunshot a moment later. Well, then I'm probably going to head that direction. Yeah. Right. So you run out that way. Um, and give me a sense trouble check. Great. Um, I'm going to spend two. This was the dice that I rolled. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that's a fucking inception show. Wow. <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah, yeah so that's a seven. All right, there's multiple sets of eyes. Um, and there's there's a screen door near you, and uh, something is stealthily trying to open the door uh, right to your left. Uh, okay, and Herman I, is facing the thing. Oh, also, give me a Can stability. I grab the screen door? The screen door? Yeah, it's a screen door. <laughs> like, oh, hold the back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can. You wanna, first, give me a stability check. Okay. Seal the gate. <laughs> Um, also, uh, Herman, did you make a stability check for seeing these things? I did not. Stability. Give me stability. You need a roll of four and a d6. Okay. Or better. Six. Six. Okay. Dang. Well, fight or flight. It's, it's a, a big, big dog. dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a big dog. A big bipedal dog. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a dog like that once. <laughs> so there's getting to be more of them. Because um, of course you There's did. a whole pack of them. Um... Anyways, uh, so so what is your action? You can grab um, the screen door closed. You can shoot at that one through the screen door. Uh, I want to... Well, I guess, yeah, I want to shoot at them. I want to shoot at their head because I remember that being, like, the only point of vulnerability. For uh, well, the Walking Dead, they decapitated. Uh, yeah. You didn't hear any... Oh, there wasn't a point of vulnerability. Uh, you didn't make the right point spin for that. Uh, they burnt it. They burnt it after they killed it. Oh. There was also only one of them. Yeah. Well, um, okay, so can I barricade the door? With what? Uh, like a chair that's on you the porch chair? You can try that? Uh, yeah, athletics. Like, yeah, okay. Um, I'll spend two again. Am I out of the door yet? Uh, we'll get to you in a second. Okay. Uh, three, so no. Nope, it busts down the door and Didn't takes like a... That. He's going to spend three scuffling on you. Okay. Okay, well. I, I have scuffling too. Can good I luck, scuffle Herman. back? Huh? Can I scuffle back? Not yet. <laughs> Roger's out there. I'm sure he's good to fight. Uh, so good that's a seven. Okay. So that hits you. Uh, God. Two points. Okay. That's that screen door. Yeah. <laughs> that screen door. <laughs> Threw it off. <laughs> um, and it just took a little bit longer. Screen doors. I'm Dr. Weakness. Porter, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to grab... You could make preparedness checks for things that are in the uh, boarding house uh, if you wanted to, like... Have something that would be handy nearby. Um, I've got a plan for that. Okay, for the once the scene concludes. Sure, sure. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab the most solid thing, like a, I don't know, a coat rack or lampstand. What a yeah, fire poker. Yeah. And I'm just going to, ah, you know, just take a mad swing uh, at this thing right out. Yeah, you see her. She yeah, uh, I tries see to barricade the door. It falls, uh, pushes the door down, slashes at her. Uh, Rachel I cried, her. don't destroy the evidence this time! <laughs> okay. Uh, give me scuffling then, I guess. Yeah. Or uh, weapons. Uh, I'm gonna go scuffling on that. Yeah. I'm gonna spin two. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be picky like Bill. <laughs> Is Roger yeah. still outside enjoying a brandy? Uh, <laughs> Roger's curled up in the... Ah! No one can really hear the screaming over seven. the campfire. Seven hits? Uh, go ahead and roll the damage. Okay. Uh, two. Okay. Well, you got its attention. I'm sure I do. Dunk. <laughs> uh, as it just kind of looks up at you and growls. Uh, so let's see where you did. Uh, so finally, uh, uh, you're up there. No, you already acted. This yeah. is round two. Okay. Round two. Um, so I, I went out of order because oh, yours right. was first. Uh-huh. Um, you're upstairs you're right now with a, a box of shotguns there. in your pocket. A shotgun. Box of shotguns. Sorry, a box yes. of shells. Sorry. You said it. You can't go back. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot happening. Um, uh, you hear multiple gunshots. Uh, or you hear one gunshot at least. Two gun. Yeah, one splintering gunshot. door. Yeah, splintering mm-hmm. door. It's getting chaotic down there. <laughs> so you could try and... Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. You could use another sense trouble check to spot them in the dark and snipe at them from upstairs. Or well, you could, it's a shotgun, so no, I can't. Okay. Uh, well, it's not a 10 foot range. I mean, well, it's also a double barrel. It's yeah. not known for its sniping capability. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to do? Snipe uh, a shotgun in the west. Do you want to go back down the street? Who is in the house with us? 
Uh, you know, Mrs. Dawes is, she, you don't, she's, you, you, uh, you faintly pick out her screaming, um, uh, you, Bryant, and, uh, well, Starling was outside. Starling's no more. Uh, Brian is, is, is screaming on the porch. Uh, Brian is under a table in the dining room. Uh, All right, he's safe. I'll go help them <laughs> down by the train door. Okay. Safe under that table. All right. Uh, so are you going to go out the same way that Lala and uh, Porter sort of... Are they in? out? I thought she was inside. No, no she's I'm on the, the porch. Screen. I'm on oh, the porch. Okay. I, yes. the Remember, it's a wraparound porch. I'll go out that way. All right, the same way that they're all there. To shoot them, yes. Okay. That's all right, where so you stand behind is. Porter. That's where the shoot me. Uh, you stand uh, behind Porter. He just whacked at it with a fire poker. Um, <laughs> you do see, actually... At least it's connected. <laughs> yeah. Um... You could shoot into melee, uh, but if you fail, you you might wing Porter. Uh, but you also see two more. Um, now they're running towards the screen door, uh, so you could uh, one of the ones that are that are uh, is approaching you, uh, or you could go around the corner to see what's doing what Herman's doing. Well, I'm not going to go around the corner with two, yeah, three behind me. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll shoot at the ones coming out. I guess I'll yeah, both I'll... barrel them. Let's are see. they close to each other? Uh, here, let me let me draw it. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. All right, so this is the door. This is the dining room. Um, this is the the wraparound porch. All the the, the, the Lala's here. Porter's here. You're here. Where's Ghoul the door here. to the outside? This right here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Herman's right here, and he's getting attacked by a ghoul right here. And then but there's we two can't more. See him? Uh, because he's around the corner. He went to the other. Where's door. the outside? This is the wraparound porch. This is outside, past the wraparound porch. Oh, okay. Does that make Got sense? It. Yes, okay. now, now it makes sense. I'll okay. figure it out. So, um, you're right here. You could uh, shoot at this one, or shoot at these, or go around the corner and shoot at this one. These are your fear clearest shot. Uh, can I hit both of them? Or are they close? You can. I will All right. load both barrels at them, I guess. All right. All right, so that's goal th- uh, three, game of four. Uh, go and give me firearms check. I'll spend three. Okay. Five. All right, that hits. Uh, D6 plus two. For both of them or separately? Uh, you can choose whether you want to. I'll go both of them. Okay. <laughs> Should have said beforehand, but whatever. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right, they both get winged of uh, your shotguns now. For seven it. damage? Yeah. They're still up. Clear. I know. <laughs> also, there's a big hole in the screen. But I hope it looked cool. It did look really cool. <laughs> all right. uh, also, you all are temporarily deaf. Yes, cool. yes. I'm, I'm shouting at him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so everyone's having a fun time. Uh, so let's start a new round. Lala, uh, you're on the bottom. Uh, the ghoul is getting, um, got whacked in the head with a fire poker. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's not looking at you right now. You could... Um, Love of God, woman, shoot it. Yep, I'm going to shoot it. Okay. Like, um <laughs> Basically point just, yeah, just up. Yeah, just tuck it up under yeah. his chin. <laughs> well, everything's wrong. You still have to make a check. Chris. Sure, sure. Um, where's my shield? You want ghouls? My... <laughs> there is, a, sc- there is a screen Fire. door between okay, you and it. Okay, so I'm going to do... And we not, know not how so thick much. they are. Yeah. We'll spend two again, I guess. Right. Yeah, that's a seven. All right, that hits. Go and roll. Seven. Um, that's a regular pistol, so it's just D6. Four. All right. It gets winged. Uh, it doesn't like that. It's going to retaliate. Um... It is actually going to try and swipe at you, uh, going for your Achilles tendon. Ah! Uh, so no, you need that. <laughs> uh, it's going to spend two on its scuffling. Okay. Uh, actually, no, it's going to spend three because how many does it have total? It has a number. A bajillion. Yeah, apparently. wait, you've already burned three off of it now. No. Since every ghoul yes, is Bruce yeah. Lee. Yeah, okay. it's on six now. Uh, so that's a five. Yeah. Uh, so that hits. Of course it does. Well, you know, it doesn't it like you guys. It did spend three. Yeah. Uh, so that is six. Ook. Are you still up? Uh, I am? Yes, yes I am. Yeah, it savages your leg. That doesn't feel good. No, um, it doesn't. So, but it's your turn, Porter. Ah, you cursed hell beast! And I just, yeah. again, right to the skull. <laughs> yeah, no, that's probably uh, a good idea. Another two. For an eight. Well, that definitely hits. Uh, balls three. 
Three. All right. Uh, it collapses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, ghoul three and four burst through the screen porch. Uh, so crime and they haunted packs. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I'll back up as I reload. <laughs> Bottom's <laughs> taking a shot at you. Uh, How? It jumps. I'm behind two of them. <laughs> well, the other one and a door. <laughs> <laughs> the door you blew in. <laughs> yeah, you kind of. I mean, I'm just saying it's got two more targets <laughs> for me. Well, she's you under... similarly. We're deliberately <laughs> in single file. <laughs> you shot them. Really... I shot past. Them. You were, okay, here's the thing. You were there. You had to move clearly. You had, no, to, you had to step to the His side. His suit's going to be ruined. So you're like right there. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, I'm under a door still. You're under a door. One of them is attacking you, one of them is attacking him. No, uh, your suit. Because you two are more targets. Uh, so, taking three points on you. Is it, There's no dodge mechanic, is there? Uh, nope. <laughs> you take it like uh, a so that's man. seven. Uh, that hits. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, so that's six damage. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> uh, and then for you, uh-huh. uh, let's see here. Uh, Wait, that... they attack him as well? Yeah. He's there standing. There are two of them. There are two of them. I know, but they both attacked me. <laughs> no. No, one, one attacked you. Oh, okay. The the one that was uh, on top of uh, the oh. first through the screen door. There All are right. three total. Okay, I thought they were both going after And then me. also that's Herman's got one. Yeah. Uh, so oh. that hits you. Well, no, we took out one, so there's two yeah. left. No, uh, Herman has one, too. I know, but I'm yeah, saying yeah. there are four total. He said there were three left in you, like, but there's also one dealing with Herman. Yeah, yeah, the Herman one, yeah, I, that's these a are the, issue. These yeah. are the two that he's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, so that's another six damage. He's looking like a German soldier to me. Uh, I'm, I'm under zero now. Okay, well, to what? Uh, negative three. You're at a penalty, but you're still uh, up and fighting. Okay. Uh, I think every your target numbers go up by one, uh, so you can still do things. But until you have to start making consciousness checks at negative six, negative okay. twelve, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Herman, it's going to take a claw at you. Uh, I mean, you could shoot it first. I didn't take any damage. Uh, oh, uh, I already told you six. Oh, I thought you said it was six to hit. No, no, it was eight to hit. Okay. Six damage. All right. um, shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, go and shoot. Bang, it, bang, bang. You're basically going at the same time. So four. Okay. Uh, that hits. Two, three. Right. Three. Sorry, three. All right. It's still up. God! It's definitely resistant to the, the at least handgun bullets. Uh, anyways, it's spending uh, two this time. What well, better rolls at six, so. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's five damage. I am at zero. Okay. You're still fine. I mean, you're not fine, fine, but you're still fighting. Uh, as you're you're savagely being mauled by, and well, like, <laughs> yeah, basically it's not fun. Um, so new round, voila. Mm-hmm. Uh, neither of the two that are up uh, are paying attention to you. Um, yeah. So um, <laughs> you can I shoot either one. I mean, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to think if uh, something else would be more effective than shooting. Um, do you have, you can make a spin if you want to notice something about the combat. Um, it well, hurts. That's a, it's well, really painful. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have biology, uh, outdoorsman? Uh, sense, no. Do you have two points of sense trouble? Left? I do have two points of sense trouble. All right, you do. If you spin those, I'll give you something. Okay. Uh, you notice Actually, his fire poker. Uh, th- the bullets, this. Uh, the fire poker seems to be far more f- effective than the bullet should. Like, that shotgun should have shredded them both, mm-hmm. uh, but they're still up. But the fire poker seems to be working as well as it would on a human. So, uh, it seems... For well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking I might, uh, preparedness to whip out, a uh, that... Lady Fossil Evil knife yeah. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> broke into that desk back in the day. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, um, man, and some, do thing. some scuffling. You want a big-ass knife? Yeah, that's definitely a preparedness thing. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Right. How many are you spending? Um, uh, I'll spend two. All right. Does it yeah. matter? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can it's give me you knife. can give me scuffling or weapons with. Uh, um, I'll give you plus one because you're you're attacking from surprise. Essentially. Weapons is better. So right. I'm gonna spend two with weapons. So eight. 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 All right. Roll damage. Uh, D six plus one. Two. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, super damaging. It was a good idea. <laughs> Up until it's the super day. effective. It was. You stab it right in the knee. I stabbed it so well in its knee, though. Yeah, yeah it's gonna. It's Why gonna, couldn't this be like a bullet um, fight, like Undertale? I stabbed it too you. well in the knee. It's only going to spin one happened. this time. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it rolls a one. It yes. Actually, <laughs> so uh, the other and that's one, because I stabbed it so well in its knee that it was no. like distracted there you go <laughs> um, then it uh, let's see here it sees you reloading the shotgun and it's going to try and take a stab at you which one the same one uh, there's two left okay uh, the other one is going to take an attack at you then you two it gets two attacks on me no there's two of them each one gets one, one attack attacked me but it got an attack on me yeah and no that's this is the second round. round okay it's round three yeah one attack so me. So it's spinning two. Uh, we rolled the six. <laughs> uh, that's seven. What are you at to? Not great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I'm super. Thanks All right. For are you above negative six? Uh, barely. Okay. Uh, you're not even fun time, but you you reload. Both barrels. Oh, great. Good turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good turn. Yeah. Um. You know, she stabbed one. Yeah. It's teetering. Uh, if you, yeah, I'll. It's just I'm. I, I'm just brain has just been completely yeah. shattered by by the loss of blood and everything. And all I know is adrenaline. Yeah. Swing, swing, swing. All so right. that'll be my last two points of scuffling uh, right. to cock him on the head. Yeah, go in the balls. That was a three. Three so does not no, hit. No good. Threshold is a four. Uh, all right, so new round. Um, what about Herman? Oh, well, yeah, Herman, yeah, yeah. Yay! Um, Guess what? I think we're going to have a repeat of last time. <laughs> that's going to spin one. I spin two. And it misses, actually. I rolled another one. And I hit. All right, you put it down. You can't not put okay. it down. <laughs> yeah. America. <laughs> uh, new round um, there's two of them left you have a shotgun so you can go first it's a shotgun I ain't got time um, <laughs> you can try and angle it hit both of them or you can just hit one uh, I'll hit both of them okay I will spend three okay six six hits one is for sure dead. Roll for the other one. The one that you stab in the knee is dead. Uh, that would be five. Five. Because it's plus two. Ah, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Here, six, six. Yep. That's just enough to get the last one. Uh, at this point... Is the brandy now that you still on the porch? <laughs> <laughs> Roll preparedness. <laughs> Yes. It is. <laughs> I immediately start consuming it while pulling out its mid shell. Well, is everyone roll stability for <laughs> what? Did everyone roll stability for some scenes? Yeah, no, I, I, did. Did. I did. I did. I did not. All right. Um, uh, four, I should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because uh, it's real, so science. <laughs> yep. At this point, uh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> Jack Starling is dead. <laughs> Shots. Yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, who shall read our fortune? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All is lost. Uh, if any of you have first so aid, drunk. you can use it now. Um, uh, I do have first aid. Everybody. I do too, actually. What this uh, character? You also use medicine um, as well. Could uh, could use some of that? Okay. Yeah. Could use uh, every point of first aid will heal two points of damage. Um, um, okay. If you use it on someone else. It's yeah. one if you use it on yourself. Oh, balls. Okay. I'll tell you what, I will medic you. You heal me. Yeah. I can medic. I need, you can oh, medic. Yeah. Someone needs to medic me. Okay. I have six points. How much do you I have? I also have six points. How much you do you guys have? have? I'm in negative three. I have... Uh, no, uh, no, no, first aid I points. have two points. I have no okay. first aid points. So... I find blood unsightly. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> especially... I have a lot. Does anybody have I'll medicine? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I can... How much? How much? Where do, where do you health wise? Where are you at? I'm at negative three. I'm in a bad way. <sighs> so okay. Well, I technically have. How many? What are health points are you at? I'm at zero. I have. I'm. I'm down six. Okay. Sorry. So... Down, I'm down seven. Did you give him two? Me four. I'll give him. What are you at? Negative three. 
Okay, so I'll I, give you four as well. So, and then we'll all pretty much be at the same. Health and also, I can, I can, I can give four as well. Oh, you so can. is nice. four, four points for me? No, or eight, eight, eight total for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna burn four of my points to give you eight. I can give you four actual health points. I can give someone four health points. So you take four health points. Take four more from me. Okay. And then we'll figure out mine. Just okay. take four health points from him. Okay. So that's four total health points, or that's... Well, four more from me, I get okay. it with however else you were taking before. All right, so that'll put me at one, if he gives and me And you gave me how many? Okay. Uh, he'll need some... So I, I gave him four points, which is eight total. So immediately oh follows so is the triage. <laughs> yes. So confusing. Weird. How many, how many, what, do I okay. get any? Which is fine. Eight, four, nobody's given him anything yet. Okay, um... <laughs> Nothing for Herman. <laughs> Take, uh, okay, if I spend... If you give him two, it'll be four. Two, be four. Okay, so two for you, so four health points. Okay. Plus four health points. I still have four. So if you give me two days. more, that'll put me about... Well, at this them. point, Sheriff Barnes can I take two? Up. Can so I take four with a small group of No, I'm going upstairs. Yeah, yeah that's After fine. Ryan. <laughs> okay. no, with my gun. And the brandy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here. So that'll put so uh, yeah, yeah, puts us go. at five, him at four. What are you uh, at? What the hell? Did you take any damage? <laughs> that was about um, a tool to make dots on my nails. Oh, okay. Um, what? Okay, so we're both at five. He's at four. What's your health at? Uh, seven. Do you, okay, you're wow. good. Okay. And that right. still leaves. I've got two first aid points. You should have two. I also have two first okay. aid points. Okay, so we have first aid for a later encounter. <laughs> yep. That'll go right. Uh, <laughs> Brian! <laughs> Brian, you impotent clerk bastard! What diabolism have you wrought upon the proud town of Rosa? <laughs> All right, so you're you're badgering Brian. Uh, uh, with, at the point of a gun. Yeah. Uh, I have given dining, up decorum. Uh, he's at, in the dining room. Are you take, dragging him off somewhere or just doing it? No, I can do it in the dining room. Right. I don't care. Did I figure out the Latin before I was bald by healthy? So <laughs> We'll get back to that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, all right, you're doing that. The rest as of you... It, uh, um, it proves that there is no situation that cannot be stopped, cured with the liberal application of bullets. <laughs> uh, so, Sheriff Barnes and a group of three armed men come up. They heard the gunfire, and they came Shocking. Came of yeah. We have some more uh, bodies for you, Sheriff. I'm, well, oh, my. Uh, uh, oh. It's good to know that you've arrived uh, at, at uh, you know, to, to collect all of this evidence in such a timely fashion. <laughs> Uh, well, well, uh, well. Uh, things notwithstanding, uh, uh, Mister uh, Doctor Porter, uh, uh, we we are doing the best we can, and I assure you, uh, we will place additional armed sentries uh, uh, for for uh, if you wish for the rest of the, the duration of your trip. What I wish is access to a telephone. Uh, of course, uh, uh, of course, uh, we we will. We, I, I have one in my uh, office. I think Please don't do Sam like that. Is that the constable? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we're going to need some upgrade weapons. Tell him that's, to that's bring exactly me a scattergun befitting a gentleman <laughs> and to take this antiquated blunderbuss from my hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, he trades you. Um, do you, yeah, do you, you make a point spin of intimidation if you have that? I will. All right. He, tra- w- he is shamed into giving you his pump action shotgun. I now hold that on Brian. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, all right. So the sheriff sees that. Well, hold on. No, don't, don't, no, don't be doing anything rass, uh, sir. We talked about this. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I, sir, am a man of breeding. <laughs> <laughs> and would never be so crass <laughs> as to use means unbefitting the situation. <laughs> this dare do well hath potentially brought a corruption upon your good people, and I seek to find the root of it. <laughs> so if you do not mind, good sir, leave me to my business. You don't have to. You don't have to spend anything. That that that, 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 that counts as a two points bid. Uh, okay. um, so he leaves you to it. Uh, so Brian is. Uh, you are his judge now. So judge, jury, and executioner, if you so desire. Um, Wait, so are you the law? <laughs> so Sheriff Brian I have yeah, the brandy. That's all. Um, yeah, Sheriff Barnes asks you what you want to do with the corpses of these things and the. Preserve rain. them, sir. Preserve them. Uh, well, we'll try and stuff them in the. In in the ice box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of full, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> uh. right. 
<laughs> it's just the Reaper coming to take his due. Um, yeah, so you guys are dressing your wounds. Uh, so, what? all right, so you're talking to Bryant. Um, he's like, please don't... I, 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 what do you want? <laughs> Tell me what was in that damnable look you are so excitable about. <laughs> uh, it's he's a he was a he was a he practiced necromancy. He was a was a he conversed. He said he talked to people things that came from graveyards. Um, he, he studied in the old world before he was forced out. You know, uh, he uh, I, I I haven't read all of it, uh, but Irma was insistent uh, that her father. Well, she was insistent that his that her father was insistent that we, that we bring it for the salon because it was the two hundredth anniversary of his death uh, uh, tomorrow night. And why do you bring such vile things to good Christian country when well, Irma whistles? Well, I mean, her father has been a dec- uh, respected professor for decades and well liked by the community. And uh, it was this last salon. I thought it would be, uh, you know, she pointed out it would be nice, you know, for the university to do something for someone who's given so much to the university. Did you seek to endear yourself to him? Uh, uh, well, perhaps take her hand. I, 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 I just. A flower in her pride right, before confess, wilting I, on the vine. I confess. He starts crying. <laughs> um, I wanted to assess his libraries to see what could be sold to the American Antiquarian Society. I, they rejected me. They, I wanted. I wanted to get out of there, out of the boring life, get into the high f- lifestyle of the Antiquarian so you, Society. So you stole the book? No, I didn't steal the book. I was just going there to see which books I could, I could convince I them could selling steal. to me uh, to, to the Antiquarians. They're, they're looking for cult the ghouls and unspeakable. Colton, and he has a magnificent library. I just wanted to sell it to the antiquarians. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, are you sure you didn't steal that book? <laughs> no, I, no, I'm not sure. My reputation is ruined if it's not recovered. Because like, I would say, I never thought I'd say this. I'd be pariah. Don't, don't worry about me. Thank worry you. about him. No. <laughs> Wait, what year is it? 1936. And when did the war end? Which war? 1918. So it's 1936. Yeah. She lost Jacob in the war. Yeah. And she's in her 20s. Uh, no, 30s. Uh, she was like 16 uh, when she was engaged to him. And then, you know. Which is, uh, that's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Early, in the early, early we, 20th we, century in the South. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we really came into that pretty late. So we, yeah. we, we went in 1917. Uh, right. So, yeah, he died in 1918. It's perfectly plausible for him to have died in combat. Yeah. That was part of the American expedition. Did he, <laughs> well, did he really? Uh, you have no evidence to the contrary. There's a bunch of ghouls in no man's land. It's like the service <laughs> here is fantastic, right? <laughs> God, of ghouls. But it seems but like his secret like, no, was right? that he was Pinky's trying out. to uh, get the library to uh, convince Derby to sell the library to there. the Antiquarian Society like, so oh, he could switch jobs. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so he he he. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't seem to be uh, right, connected to it. Like, Let's right. go fight for I mean, the king and country. country. <laughs> yeah, after seeing that. <laughs> Roger! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Might you join me in the kitchen, Roger? Um, he comes down holding his pistol in his hand. Uh, is it over? <laughs> yes, Roger. Soon, Roger. Done great. Soon. <laughs> How did you come to be involved in this scandal? Well, Irma, Irma, um, you know, I was researching. All uh, men point to Irma. Yeah, uh, I was researching my family's history. And, she um, must be quite the flower. Yeah, he, uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, Irma told me, you know, the, the, the connection. Uh, Ezekiel uh, is a distant ancestor. He was hung here 200 years ago tomorrow night. Um, so Irma. Yeah. Did alert you yeah. to this engagement? Indeed. Well, I was researching my family, and, you know. Tell me about the dreams. <laughs> yes, tell me about those. I'm very. Thank interested. you, Roger. Okay. Very Might I see your pistol? <laughs> he, he shows you his pistol. Indeed. <laughs> you are a kind gentleman to allow me to borrow it. Companions! <laughs> we have a dog faced spinster to kill! <laughs> the dog a horse? It varies! <laughs> Depends on the lad. Alright. 
Uh, so the uh, all right. So you talk to the. Right now it's like midnight. So what do you want to do? <laughs> We're going to burn their house. Down. <laughs> all right. Uh, yes. Speaking of which, I wanted to contribute there. Can I use my point of bureaucracy to make some very angry phone calls to have the uh, local armory deliver a flamethrower? <laughs> um, or at least a Thompson. So you're, you're discussing this. Oh, well, uh, Sheriff Barnes overhears you talk about this. Uh, and he says, um, well, oh. Um, Wait, if you need a mob to burn a house down, my God, we can provide that, sir. <laughs> well, Say help. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> um, you should, uh, the, the, the preacher for the, well, the sharecroppers, you know, um, he, well, he did serve in the war, uh, the, he, uh, he, um, he prepared explosives for army engineers, uh, 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 uh Jim Cadwell, um, he, he knows all about that, that kind of thing, uh, so, you want to go... Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I uh, he, 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 like, so Sheriff Barnes is, you know, old Southern ra- sheriff, right. so no. super, I, super, yeah, yeah, racist. Sure, I get it. I'm, a, I'm a good northeastern man. Yeah. I have no problem speaking to, uh, yeah. to the black population right. whatsoever. So yes, I will go and speak with this man and procure uh, some. Uh, All right, so he takes, he takes you out for right. this mission. Uh, he takes you out there, um, and we're more enlightened. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you rouse him. Let me just shout out back. Um, he's get at a, the get a napalm back there. <laughs> so you he, he, you wake him up. You know his two teenage sons sort of answer the door. It says, "Oh, Papa, some gentlemen uh, <laughs> are here to inquire about your uh, your army." And so he he come hobbles out and says, oh, "I got I, I got my own souvenirs in in my leg." Uh, and then, like, uh, so actually, I'll ask him. Where were you? Oh, let's see here. He was in France. It doesn't specify other than that. As a, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just well, like, like basically, yeah, I was there too. Yeah, as yeah. A, I have my own souvenirs. He mentions it. Um, so he they come in my dreams. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he he knows about explosives. He can even set up a flamethrower if you want. That's a, great. Uh, that's a, yes, basically, we're we're interested to acquire a flamen for. Yeah, do you have oral history or reassurance? I do, yes. Uh, all right, do you want to make a spend on one of those? I will. All right, which one? Reassurance. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah I'm talking to a fellow veteran. Actually. Yeah, you you know that you, uh, turns out you know some of the same people. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he, he worked with army engineers to... And, actually, and also, I will respect his service, with, even if other people don't. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's your, your best buds now. Uh, <laughs> he, he heard out, about he bust, the problems. He busts out the pure 100% corn alcohol. <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah, but here are the problems. I, I heard some, yeah, it's, they have some kind of problem out in Rosa. I, I, we're right. trying I can, to stay away from it. Like, I can assure like, you, sir, you do not want to but, get involved but in this. I, can also, I don't, but it, you're here. It's a problem that can be rectified by the liberal application of bullets and fire. All right. Um, so I have one flamethrower now? Uh, well, it will take him some time. He doesn't have one ready made. So okay. he will. Do you want explosives or a flamethrower? Flamethrower. I have weapons. So okay. Flamethrower, yeah. All right. Uh, so that will take some time for him to set up, but that's what I did during the war, sir. <laughs> he starts yelling at his sons to go get alive. various tools from the shed and, <laughs> and other things. Uh, he like, asked for you know for you to get some things like, from the jail I killed, like, of course. I, yeah. I killed three men with a. Bait so yeah, if one of you wants to make a credit rating spend to buy the various things needed to my make my dear friend, <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> Crude methods, uh. but effective. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take him out. If I recall, good sir, it was your idea to, how did you put it, burn their house down? <laughs> if I recall, good sir, fire seems to be something that defies class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's going to take him hours to do. Uh, wait, we wait. should probably rest. You could go. All right, we're kind of we're kind of fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the sheriff posts a couple of uh, local residents with shotguns. Uh, well, that'll stop. I slept like love a... how helpful this town is. I must say. Well, like, uh, well, like, well, like the wolf problem's getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> and we're to keep calling it the wolf problem. Yeah. The, yes. <laughs> Uh, the you know, out of character. There, this is actually could be drawn out a lot more and make them like. But it said for a one shot, make the townspeople a little more friendly. So I'm like, all right, yeah. <laughs> uh, they want your they want the problem solved and like you guys. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of this wolf problem. No problem. Um, 
So morning comes, none of you get anything back because it's not exactly a restful night. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you get enough to operate without penalty. Um, so yeah, well, you, uh, it'll take it by 7, a, uh, I'll say 8 a.m. He'll have the flamethrower ready and tested so it won't explode. Yes, but, that, that would be uh, right. And let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, if you, do you want anything else from him? Uh I don't have explosives. If anybody else does, like, why not? But I, I don't. So. I'd love to get my hands on a Thompson if that was possible. I, I can't. I can't magic. Boom. You would have to. You'd have to drive out of town to get one, or you'd have to make a preparedness check. I spent my last preparedness. Well, there yep. you go. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, I could roll. You have like a cleaver or a well, headache or right off, could I still big roll? ass knife of some kind? I mean, oh, yeah. I have got knives. There's knives everywhere. Wait, yeah, that's what I want to do, Ross. Yeah. I want to try. I'll take a big ass cane knife. I want to try I'll, and I'll have one of those in my experiment. To see, was it just the blunt force or was it the metal of the? Um, of the of that would the, definitely be a point spend. Yeah, yeah biology. Fine. Yeah, I got biology. I'll yeah. spend it. Uh, can, I just, can I just roll preparedness? Uh, no. Now you have to spend at least one point. So how long? Will I, how long would so, I have to drive to go get one? Uh, I mean, you'd be back by afternoon. You guys mind if I go make a make a quick run? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to be your most effective tool. Uh, yeah, we, we saw the firearms you, yeah. not working, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here. They and work. I no. mean, the thing is, they're at a distance too, so they they right. don't work as effective. So with the point spin of biology, yeah, um, well, yeah, I, you realize something about their composition means that projectile what the kinetic force of projectiles just disperses quickly. So you okay. really do something about their thick rubbery flesh. Uh, well, I mean, they, I'm, I'm sorry, it would be better. Well, I'm thinking, to a, vo- I'm, I'm some... thinking a volume of bullets. Well, I was firing a bullet at a time at them. Mm. Yeah. It's your choice. Like you guys, do what you want. Like I, uh, I, I don't care. If, would, uh, if, you, if you want your gun, go get it, Caleb. You got. You care if you go. By the way, would, uh, is scuff, would scuff, I don't think it's a good idea. Would scuffling still acquire like be like like clubs and baseball bats too? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm allowing it because that's, that's how I was working it. Well, weapons are definitely you definitely need weapons for swords, uh, uh, like a sledgehammer. Yeah. I'm thinking like, oh yeah, let's get a sledgehammer. I say actually. we hope that filthy Irishman Stoker was correct, <laughs> and we attack at dawn. Uh, <laughs> Do we need to bless anything too? <laughs> <laughs> um, sledgehammer would definitely be actually be weapon too. That's a big, oh. heavy, unwieldy thing. Okay. okay, like a normal club, like a baseball bat is okay, but like sledgehammer, like that's that's a weird kind of thing to wield. Uh, baseball bat with a knight with a nail in it. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a board with a nail in it. The townsfolk managed to kill only one of their number in all of the subsequent days since the book's theft. We have dispatched four in a mere night. We cannot expect the quarry to remain in the ground. Leave no ground to hide. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fields are fallow, man. They must be replenished with ash. A holy fire to cleanse the sin from this land. Well, speaking of holy fire, is it late enough I can go pick up my... Uh, yeah, my you let well, okay, actually, I'll tell you what. No, no, let's go. Go get the flamethrower. Let's, let's have breakfast. Yes. And then we'll go... Burn the shit down. Yes. All right. Like, Indeed. So How it's <laughs> like, so eight a.m. How very civilized. Uh, like, I think you're, the flame door should get its own chair. <laughs> we're, we're having breakfast. Uh, now you're people being are Aaron. trailing. Now you. you're being Aaron. Uh, people are, you know, the sheriff is following you. Some of the townspeople with guns. Uh, the other two guests, <laughs> Roger. Uh, yeah, Roger. Perfectly fine. Well, well which not... is going to freak this guy out. I'm sure. Um... Scott sees the flamethrower and says, wait, wait, please, let me, let me get the books from the, the, the library. They, 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 the ones that are already there, they're, they're, they're valuable as a, as a scholarship. Please. And I was like, huddle. Yeah. Like, okay. You know, if he goes there and they're still there, he might be taken out first. Mm. We could send him inside. And while the <laughs> mongrel curls are distracted, seal the doors. <laughs> well... Just raise, a suggestion. Raise a valid point, sir. <laughs> That's definitely going to be stability. It's not an innocent man into danger or death. He's a thief, sir. He is not innocent. He was only trying to get uh, convince Derby. Oh, to Roger. Here's His what eyes I'm are quite greedy. Here's what I'm going to say. Oh, my God. I don't quite trust him. <laughs> Bryant, uh, if you go in. Uh, Actually, Roger is not with you, uh, but Bryant is. Bryant, if you go in, you uh, are surely facing uh, some more of those beasties. What? (laughs) Make your choice. Uh, I must save the books. Live or die. You choose the books. Make your choice. You, sir. Over the beasties. 
I, do you need to go visit the beasties again? No, to remind no I, yourself? the books have to be saved. So, Brian, do you under, only understand the language of the shotgun? <laughs> I, I hold up. Sit yourself up down, sir. Uh, does anybody have? You have uh, ninety seconds, sir. <laughs> it's any Too kind hairy. of yeah. No, I have intimidation. Right, so you gotta, you gotta let him go in the house. For I'm not, I have intimidation. I I, I don't want him to go in the house. All right, you 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 don't you can't. Yeah, you can. The sheriff can. The, you can have the sheriff restrain him. Yeah. So he just says, "No, not the books, <laughs> please." He starts weeping. You know. Lord uh, Almighty. If yeah. you would mind, good sir, opening the uh, the valve on the back. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna get, are you are you just walking up and setting it on that fire? Uh, I am perfectly okay with this plan, Caleb. <laughs> I say I say we array ourselves around the exits okay. and then set it on fire. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> like true summoners. Well, I mean, uh, well, I mean, do we want to try to lure some of them in there first? Who lure who in? More of the beasties. Well, well let's hope they're in there, and if they're not. They don't have books anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, do you care? That's, that's... The, okay, the time for nuance was before being attacked by a pack of all <laughs> <of> my <laughs> man dogs. Okay? That's fair. Uh, all right, so you uh, just torch the house. Yep. Uh, a minute later, you hear the old man, Professor Derby, starts screaming, Oh, what's happening? Ah! He starts, st- you hear him stumbling around. Um, he, well, he's not blind enough that he can find his way out. He is going to, uh, you see a side door open. None of the doors are unlocked. Uh, so he stumbles out. Well, the house is on fire. Someone help. <laughs> Where are you, Irma? Nope. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> he just wandered right by my ass. Uh, all right. Uh, Into the woods with you. Me. Hear his pitiful cries. His uh, town's person saying, "Over, over here, Mr. Professor Dar- Derby," uh, as he weeps as his house of his ancestral home burns to the ground. Um, what is his, it? His witch coven. <laughs> That's what burns. The <laughs> Southerners are just too enamored with this, this heritage thing. What do you know? I wait for anything else to come out. Nothing comes out. All right, go talk to the professor. Oh wait, no, Professor Katz does come out too. She's uh, she was the first out. Um, and no, I forgot she would be in the house. Okay, so I'm she, totally she okay. Dude, yeah. out. Oh my All god, right. I do. I thought, I thought but Irma is not here. Where are we gonna get? Uh, where are we gonna get everyone out of the house first? Well, they're out of the house now. <laughs> <laughs> no one went and in the, the house. house is out of this. You just said you're gonna set it on fire. <laughs> you didn't even tell them. You just set it on fire. <laughs> not, That's not, even... not how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. You don't tell someone you're they setting your house on fire. They have already broached the honor code See, by attacking us. This, this is not a siege. This is just an assault. So Brian <laughs> passes out uh, as he sees it torch. Uh, he actually tries to break free. Uh, let's see if he does. Uh, he does break Holy free. shit! <laughs> yeah. uh, you make me shoot this old blind man in the back. No, right? no, Brian. No, no, Brian. Oh, Brian. The, the guy the books. He right. rushes in the house. All right, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if he makes it out. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> he falls down. Thumb, ah, he starts screaming. Uh, is anybody going to go in? Or is everyone going to make a stability check? <laughs> I'm going in. All right, g- give me athletics. Yeah, I better do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot though, don't you? Spend a lot of it. There. Yeah. Okay. Five. All right. You see him. Uh, he's clutching as many books as he's, he can carry. Uh, he he you know fell down the stairs and hurt his leg. Uh, do you help him up and get? I up? do. All right. Uh, you take one point of health damage without the books. Well, you I don't care what he's holding. That book. I don't care what he's holding. So he comes out holding a bunch of old books. Uh, he just clutches. <laughs> he's just crying. Uh, at this so I, point. So I, look, son, I'm not. I don't want to comment on your. Your. I appreciate your dedication, but uh, you don't. <laughs> nor- normally, running, running into deaf ears. Into Life. a. Fl- you're not listening to me, are you? <laughs> uh, he, he finds her. If you want to have anybody, you need to sell these to the Antiquarian Society. Uh, so uh, I clock him with the butt of the gun. He, yeah, he's out. Like, I pile the books in a pile. You want to? <laughs> whoa, 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 Barnes does try to stop. That is Professor Derby's private property. So. Uh, I am the sheriff of this. Uh, you're gonna have to make a point spend if you want to burn these books for the sheriff. 
<laughs> Why are you spending more on intimidation? Tell me it's credit rating. I'm spending credit rating. Tell me it's credit rating. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small town in the Depression. That works. <laughs> yeah. I make him burn. Yeah. There it goes. All right. All the books are burned. Uh, what do you do now? Hocus uh, pocus apocalypse. Professor Katz. Nonsense. <laughs> Uh, She's Dr. Just Derby. wide-eyed. First uh, Derby is sitting Might you know where Irma has resided this Absconded. night? Absconded. Uh, she, she, uh, I heard someone leave in the middle of the night, I, or I heard the door open. I thought somebody was just stepping out for a, a, a smoke. Um, oh, they stepped out all right. <laughs> <laughs> and smoke was involved. <laughs> Uh, fast, I suspect Irma, or Irma and her companions, and I had a midnight tryst, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite forward of you, sir. <laughs> um, Professor Derby is senseless. He's not going to answer anything. He's just just going into dementia at this point. He's like, you, whatever decline he was going through, you really accelerated. <laughs> kind of like the accelerant you sprayed on his house. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that decision. <laughs> <laughs> The reason Irma I did it. say this was to be the last salon. Let's make it, let's make it memorable, shall we? Um, are you, you Perez? Did you did you talk to Jack Starling? I think have you searched his room at the He's Dr. dead. Oh yeah, what? we could search search, search yeah. his room. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Let's go do that. You probably should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. We were insulted. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, you fools! Justice Irving must be dead. served. The only thing is, uh, um, uh, she does mention. Well, there was a. I was working on a theory, uh, a paper about how Ezekiel de la Porres might have had descendants in this area. Um, there's a. There's an account of when they went to him and hang, hung him. A Jesuit priest went into his house and found a, a child, a girl. Uh, and the Jesuit priest took uh, took the child out and gave it to a family. Uh, and it would be the Jesuits. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> well, I'm Southern. I'm not a fan of Catholics. Come on. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Caleb is committed. It all makes sense. <laughs> Keeps on getting back. So or worse. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Did worse. Oh yeah. Oh, so his room. Um, you went, go back to. So this is an eventful morning. Uh, <laughs> it takes about two hours for the house to burn down. Um, Luckily, we had breakfast first. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was. I was saying, you know, like you some know, like, grits. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was like, you know, like cause I thought we were going to use this on the creatures once we found them. I didn't know this was our plan. Um, we'll still we use it on them. Sir. We, we have more. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, I, I just think this might have been a bit rash. Uh, Mrs. Dawes just gives we you the key insulted. to his room, uh, to Jack Starling's room. Uh, Rightfully so. No. Uh, Look, I was mauled too. <laughs> you find a, case, a briefcase. We got two uh, southerners and an asshole. You got between, out of yeah. being rash. Uh, <laughs> between uh, uh, all of you, you you go through the briefcase. You find a false bottom. You find the mm-hmm. cleanly cut out pages of Cult the Ghouls. Um, well, that's nice. I read them uh, out loud. Yep, see. out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I just read them. What did I say? Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, they talk about these creatures that are referred to as ghouls. That they are. Mm. Uh, let's see here. So that does not impa- in, in fact appear to be uh, any canine dissension. With these there are also <laughs> notes uh, from Professor Katz. It seems someone gave or Jack Sterling somehow got a hold of uh, research notes from Doctor er, Katz, uh, which Doctor Katz, if asked about, did like has no idea how he got those. Um, of course. Anyways, there's a relevant passage. Uh, it's in German, but uh, at this point... I have languages. I'm reading it. All right. Um, after reading Balfour's Cults de Ghouls, which only hinted at the facts, I traveled uh, into the heart of the Missif de Vosage. Um Yeah, again, <laughs> pronunciation things. Where the necromancer <laughs> de la Power uh, lived with two pupils before his move to the Americas. There I found the superstitious town of... St. Lazarus, uh, a collection of huts nestled in the valley, just off Rousseau de Suez. 
Um, I spent a week at the feet uh, at the feet of an old woman and listened to her stories of childhood when the pupils of De La Pour held sway over the village. Uh, he demanded the bodies of the dead, which uh, several Waver boys witnessed him feeding to a dog-like ghouls. If uh, too, few, uh, too few villagers died of winter, a child, or an old man might disappear, uh, although that might have been the starving wolves. The woman hinted that these men were perhaps living still. Uh, the hair rose on my neck as I lay awake that night, listening to the barking wolves. Surely it was wolves. Um, so, uh, it seems... Uh, does anybody have... Uh, I forgot if criminology is a scam this one. Uh, Let's see here. Do, no. no. Do, 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 do. Well, evidence. Streetwise. Cool. Streetwise. Streetwise. Right. All right. What I have streetwise. Um, yeah, you can make a point of streetwise. Yeah. Um, perhaps Irma. If Irma is the culprit, which it kind of that, that seems to be your theory at this point. Everybody's pointing at Irma. Uh, I'm just saying. She might have invited Starling uh, to be here as a patsy for a theft. Uh, and thus, these pages and these notes were there to, were given to him by Irma uh, to frame him or to make him look like a thief. And he was conveniently eaten. Yes. Um, da, 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 da. Smoking Poor outside the parlor. Mr. <laughs> like a common farmhand. Good riddance. <laughs> he deserved it. <laughs> So, I the thought there was something charming about his nonsense. black lined eyes. <laughs> his ability to escape from nearly everything. Right. <laughs> Except <You're> death. <dead. laughs> I'm being honest. I don't think I understand most of the words spoken in this part of the country. <laughs> uh, so, um, at this point, it's lunchtime. What do you want to do? Uh, Eat lunch, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, not say. What does the Latin say? <laughs> what does the Latin say? Uh, we gotta get back Latin. to the Latin. Oh yeah, Latin. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that got kind of <laughs> <laughs> brushed under the table. Yeah. Um. All right, you find it. It is in a cult, um, uh, speech and invocation of gods. Uh, it is a summoning incantation which uses the is. names of more than one deity. Um. So. Yeah, it, it you know, Per Adonai Elohim, Adonai uh, Jehovah, Adonai uh, Sabbath. Yeah, she was uh, summoning something. Metroton, uh, yeah, it goes on and she on. She was summoning Metroton. Does anybody have a cult? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I have a cult. I do no. not. Was it spending give anything on that? Is there anything that um, else? Not at this juncture. Okay. Uh, but in the future, it may, uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, well, actually, no, I'll, I'll, you can give, give me a one point of cult spend now. Uh, tonight is the 200th anniversary of his death. It's also the night of a full moon. Uh, it's also, uh, would be the night of Walpurgis, uh, a night for performing. Uh, oh, yeah, we, should, Sabbath, we which, should finish this lovely lunch that Miss Dawes <laughs> has been so kind to prepare for. You, you're a saint and a homemaker, dear. You, you, you really outdone yourself. Uh, and then we should go burn that hell-forsaken tree down. Oh, uh, yes, the tree. Oh yeah, the tree. Let's. We might want to dig something up. And Ms. Dawes, are you aware of any more haunted locales? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a good and firing and salting. <laughs> uh, remember the the ash tree is what he was hung on, so not. Uh, so but his his. But he's also buried. Buried underneath. underneath he's it. buried there, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you want to Perhaps go... Perhaps if we mix his ashes with others, then we'll be sort of uh, diluted. Right. All right, that's that's a good point. So <laughs> we wanna... pour some vinegar on it or something. All right, so you want to go, <laughs> you wanna go check out... the right ash. <laughs> uh, you want to go suggest. check out the uh, the Derby house. Or, uh, During the daytime, you, yeah. right now. All right. Very quickly. All right, so you walk... We prepare sandwiches <laughs> and leave. <laughs> <laughs> right. A walking munch. <laughs> so you head on the path behind the Derby House, or what was the Derby House? Um, let's see here. The you go through a wider path that continues onto a river, uh, and as you f- walk through um, the invest, you find a fallen tree, uh, pull back a few few thorns. It only takes about half an hour, um, and. What you find a slightly more open space in the woods populated entirely by white ash trees where nothing but worn stones and a large hole betray the existence that the De La Pura house ever existed. Um, there is also nearby a large brick oven. Uh, does anybody have craft? Uh, nope. 
Do that. I do. Fine. I do not. Because you have everything. You do. Yeah. <laughs> Supremely right, suited. Uh, I, one. I mean, this is this was your role the last time we played this no. the system. Uh, the, it looks like devil. the oven was made from bricks that may have been taken from the oven at the uh, Derby House. So, uh, inside in the oven's fire pit, you find a heap of coals. Uh, more than would produce a safe fire. In the oven's maw, the, you find the remains of a mat, a mixture of ash, rock salt, and a small bits of bone. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um, if anybody <sighs> has some medicine or biology, uh, yeah. you want to make a spin on that? Yeah. Do it. Uh, in a well-sealed oven, a hot coal fire burning for half a day or more would greatly burn down the human body, the point where its bones could be ground up with the right effort and tools. Like a meat grinder? Uh, like a meat grinder. Mm-hmm. Good grief. <laughs> um, so, uh, at this point, uh, you find the ancient ash tree, and um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Does anybody have outdoorsmen? I forgot. Yep. Yeah, yes. they've got All tons right. of it over there. Uh, you find a far too recently disturbed grave nearby. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like it's been dug up and reburied, so... Uh, on the tree's far side, in the tangle of roots, gaps a dark hole big enough to swallow a person. And there are tracks there. An Irma-sized person? Well, they're not necessarily... Well, at least we've denied her access to another meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, who wants to go down the creepy dark hole first? Who's got the flamethrower? <laughs> uh, literally couldn't fit it down that. You could. <laughs> no, you can fit. You can. You fit can the, also fit fire down. There. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to go down it. You can just. Uh... Do we have any sonar equipment? <laughs> do we have any ground? Do we have any ground penetrating radar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So yeah, sweet. Uh, you could go down into the tunnels. We could. We could. Uh, or you could do something else. Uh, you could dig up the grave to see if anything. Are there any children in me? How much? A father. How much uh, more metal do you have on oh, there? Oh, <laughs> well, that, not for a farthing, because remember, no, we check, are in the United let's States. Let's check out. <laughs> I'm very dead <laughs> all right? Let's check, I've I've got, let's I've check out the grave. So, I'm so you Southern Dilettante of Euro <laughs> trash. Oh. Okay, let's, let's check out the grave. <laughs> all right, yeah. takes you about an hour. Um, I still want to know how much molten it's metal It's missing a body. So, Whose body was it? This would be Ezekiel de la Porre's body. So someone dug up the old necromancer. <sighs> I bet you. T- I, I'll bet every. I'll bet everybody a, cre- a, a, a credit rating point. <laughs> Money down unit. there. I'm not taking that bet because it's obvious. Well, I'm right behind you, Doctor Porter. Yeah, like, well, I think our heavy artillery should go first. Um, again, well, you realize, um, since you made that a call, this is the naive of, a, well, Plurgus evening. So if she was going to do her ritual, she would do it tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to wait that. Yeah. for that. You don't happen. know where she is, though. <sighs> We can wait. We can wait. <laughs> so well, she's a dog person. We're not ambushing a dog person. They huh? got dog smells. <laughs> they can. They can smell. Wait, wait. Can we? If we the conundrum. Wait, okay, wait. If we spend outdoorsman, can we try mask our scent? Uh, you could try. Yeah. All right. Let's let's wait in ambush. We have a flamethrower and guns. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, one point of outdoorsman or two. Uh, who has outdoors? Man? I have outdoors. Man. We'll spend two points. All right. I one, have one, one between two us. Two as well. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Do you want to spend a point? I spend two points. Right. <laughs> because of course you had two points. We spend all day building a duck blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you do. I just watch because I have no outdoors. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we, ha- we make a ghoul lure. <laughs> All right, so where uh, did we find where did we find this arm? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> uh, all right, so we were like a human, like a severed, rotted human arm, and like a, one of those box. That's got to be a fun afternoon. Warm today. <laughs> warm yesterday. <laughs> like we warmed them up. <laughs> like. Yeah. How do you stand this <laughs> cursed <laughs> weather? <laughs> yeah, I gotta say. It's the little things in life you love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so night draws. Uh, you're in the forest uh, at night. Uh, everyone give me a stability check, because it's just you four. Five. All right. Four. One. All right. Uh, two, if you fail. <laughs> Dude, I 
This is like, dude. I waited. I waited. I waited to go out and go over the top, man. This is fucking. We've had we've had twelve hours to prepare. There's no possible way we can fail. It's just less than twelve hours. It was it was by you. Yeah, yeah, about four. No, but, no, no, yeah. I took a walking lunch. I, said, I, do, I totally agree. There's no way this can fail. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you did as best you could with the way you had. Like the uh, four points of outdoors. <laughs> to be clear, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. You didn't get the the latest uh, hunting gear or whatever. Oh come on, we're on some bear grill shit. I, I know. I know. I know. Um, no, we're we're like Arnold and the Predator. We got rid of our. We're drinking our own pee. <laughs> no sir. No sir. I will draw that line. All right. right there. So first, well, come on. Your pee is mostly brandy. <laughs> uh, so as you're waiting, the the clouds part. <laughs> You see the full moon shine upon the clearing uh, by the ashtray, uh, ash tree uh, and the foundations of the Ezekiel's house. Uh, and you hear something stirring. Um, you you look over and you can see uh, Roger stumble out of the clearing oh, in, as though in a trance. Oh, uh, he is stumbling along. His eyes are rolled up in the back of his head. Uh, he's mumbling to himself. Uh, it is very clear that uh, those of you with hypnosis can recognize someone who is under the effect of you. hypnosis or some sort of I recognize dark that. occult uh, power. Bad uh, juju. Should Bad I, juju. Should I go save Roger, or should we just let him? He's That's probably like he's probably, at this point. You he's probably what she needs, though. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure if there's going to be a procession coming out of there, he's going to be leading it. Uh, and then, yeah, you you don't see them at first, but then the smell. Uh, th- that that unnatural death scent, um, which is different from anything you've smelled. It is death, but it, a different kind of death. Uh, and you you see, uh, finally see their silhouettes from the appear from the tree line, uh, and from the tunnel. Uh, and they come up, and there are six of them this time. Um, Fab. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've got a flamethrower this time. Okay, let, let's uh, let's wait. Wait till we get them all. And finally. Uh, you see Irma, um, and Irma is in her mother's dress holding two jars, um, and she, um, so, uh, the, the... Can I draw was, my pistol and shoot one of the jars? Yeah, shoot You sure jars. can. It's a called <laughs> shot, though. Uh, so... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's, we want to wait till we get there all in a nice... T- in a, in a, I don't want together. them to start... Well, they've got a... It's a ritual. they got to finish you don't, it. There, there's a whole thing for the chant. You don't want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be entertained. <laughs> like, no, you, like, can, no, you, can, you can take your shot at any time. No, no, I'm saying, like, like, no, no, like, like, let, them, let them start. <laughs> it's fine. Caleb's with the debating his tongue. You burned the house down. You shut up. You better shut up. I advise <laughs> against this. Like, shh, let's just... Let's just watch. <laughs> You can do it. No, Ross, you proceed. Okay. <laughs> proceed. Uh, she begins to chant. Uh, magna Mata, Magna Mata, O friend and companion of night, thou who rejoiced in the bane of dogs and split blood. Uh, I would like to take out my gun and shoot the jaws. <laughs> we start singing the battle hymn of the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even done with the chant. That's fine. <laughs> I know you weren't. I don't want you to finish the chant. Wait, you're Southern, wouldn't it be, Dixie? <laughs> yeah. <probably. laughs> I hate being Southern, though. <laughs> I can do the accent, but everything else makes me feel skeezy. <laughs> All right. Uh, shooting the, that with a pistol at night. Uh, you're at long range for a pistol, mm-hmm. and it's at night, mm-hmm. and it's a jar. If I miss, will I hit her? Uh, if you were one below. So right now you need... Uh, but you, you're, you've been aiming, so... Uh, it's plus four to your difficulty, so you need an eight. Uh, okay. So that's with your. Uh, it would be nine. So you need. Uh, yeah, you need an eight. So you need to spend at least two points of shooting and then roll a six. Uh, I'm not gonna be able uh, to do that. Yeah. It's a really hard shot with a pistol at night, and she's. It's a jar this big. Oh, or we can, or, or it's like a mason jar. All can, right, then what do you guys want to do? Or we do? can hear more of the chant. <laughs> I don't want to hear more of the chant. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, the person with the flamethrower can make a stealth check to get close enough to... Yes, uh, I will. Um, you can essentially metal gear your way up so to... So easy to sneak up on dogs. <laughs> well, you you <laughs> masked your scent. four outdoorsmen to four, mask Four outdoorsmen, Caleb. <laughs> so you're in like a fucking ghillie suit or something. <laughs> just... 
That's not unreasonable for the it's time. A southern, it's a southern comfort That's guilty literally suit. what he's in. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one who's like, we spent four points, Ross. We should have it. I know, but it that will be like seven, seven points, Ross. <laughs> All right. That's enough. Well, You're, you can get her and maybe, um, th- let's say, three of the ghouls. Um, with a flamethrower with one shot. Okay. So, Damn, I wish I had a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have preparedness? <laughs> you have preparedness? Uh, if, I'm, if I spend it, can I have found a horse? Yeah. How much? Well, it's spend. a big spend, though. How uh, much of preparedness? I got six. You uh, Just spend all of it. Oh, okay. I have a horse. Uh, <laughs> You can whistle for it. Oh, the shadow catcher. We ride. Brandywine. This is, I, this this is, is kind horse's, of a pulp game. Uh, the horse's name is Brandywine. Um, it's his, he gets to name his horse. Um, anyways, uh, so flamethrowers. It's an Arabian. <laughs> Um, well, the thing is, all right, you, can, <laughs> you can get okay. them at close range, you can get three, her and three of them, or you can get up right up point blank at her, uh, and just hit her, uh, because they're in a circle, so, or, um... I think goals being on fire would probably be good for us. Yeah, yeah. I concur. Let's hope it right. distracts them. Oh. Maybe we can demoralize the ghouls. All right, so <laughs> give me a... So or just go like, holy check. shit! <laughs> I'll use firearms or weapons. I mean... It, it, uh, I, I, thought, I thought it was a weapons. Yeah, yeah, weapons. Yeah, weapons. that's what I've got. I don't have firearms. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, spin big, I guess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the other three ghouls that you don't set on fire are going to know you're there, <laughs> and they're not going to be happy. <laughs> By the way, uh, I don't have much shooting left, just so you know. Yeah. No, well, he did sneak away from us, so technically we are still in Oh, that's true. Now the gun is a lot, dear. <laughs> um, yeah, is this a normal, is this going to be at a normal rate, or, or is this um, going to be extra hard because there's so many? Actually, roll for each one. So there's her, there's Irma. With the same roll, with the same spin. spin uh, right? Yeah, you get the same bonus on each one. So, like, okay. uh, ghoul one, ghoul two. And ghoul three, and then there's ghoul four, five, and six. And then the lady! <laughs> and then there's Roger, who I assume you're not targeting. No, um, no poor, so poor fool. You, it's a flamethrower, so you can't really fucking aim, so there's no point. I mean, yeah. you can do this kind of number. Hey, every round of a flamethrower is technically a tracer. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, they're all on fire. So yeah, make a weapons test. Uh, you voted for Hubert Humphrey. Their, you their hit Jesus. threshold will be one lower than usual this round, because you have surprise. Okay. But you can still miss, because it's a, you know, you have to turn it on and spray them before they right, notice. Right, Um Yeah, I'll prohibition's spray gonna, three. Prohibition's going to end right. soon. Um, for Thank a God. nine. Oh, wait, no. No, That's for Irma. That's for right. Irma. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I ghoul one. Good, because I was just drinking brandy. That'll be a six. All right, that hits. Ghoul two. That'll be a six. All right. One. And ghoul three will be a nine. All right, you hit all of them. Uh, it's plus two damage. Cry <laughs> havoc! <laughs> all right, let's see here. Uh, go and roll damage for each one. Okay. Fly to the Valkyrie seems to be playing, because you're like the comedian right now. <laughs> it's plus two damage. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that'll be five for Irma. All right, she's still alive. Uh, six for Ghoul One. All right, he's not doing well. Three for Ghoul Two. Yeah. And three for Ghoul Three. All right, well they're on fire, so they'll take damage next round as well. Uh, and there's surprise. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know, but surprise. <laughs> um, the other three ghouls are going to turn. Um, and one of them's going to be too far around, but two of them are jumping you. Like Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're spending four to hit you this time. I ride. Well. We're, we're, we're getting there as fast as we can. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's going to be a riding check. Uh, ghoul four is going to attack you. Uh, he hits you. I have zero in riding? What kind of fucking dilettante am I? A dilettante dilettante. You can still make riding checks. Just don't roll a one. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that was one hit. Right? It was a good both idea. Both both time. Yeah. It's not going to be good. I stand system. by your decision, sir. Uh, four, I'm not outdoors. Five. It would carry me through, but it did. All right. Uh, three. So four, so seven damage. Okay. What does that put you to? Uh, that puts me at negative two. Negative two. Uh, every all your hit modify all your uh, target numbers go by one. Right. So you need fives instead of fours normally to hit. Um, so uh, yeah, and then ghoul six. Um, like what the shit? <laughs> loping around towards you, 
Uh, but he's just out what, of range. Does he at least do the cool up? Holy fuck! No, they're pretty instinctual killers. Okay. Um, <laughs> the yeah, the other the four that are on fire are rolling around uh, for their action and howling. Yeah, and howling. So is Irma. She is screaming that she is wearing a thick nineteen eighteen dress that is not appropriate for being <laughs> set on for fire. fire. <laughs> yeah. um, what so, kind of chemicals are in that? Yeah, Lala. Thing? What are you doing? Um, I am gonna actually head towards uh, Raj. Poor Raj. Oh, also Ezekiel, uh, she drops the diary she was holding. I forgot that. Um, so. <laughs> We're in a nap. <laughs> well, uh, we your need job to is to recover. That up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can explain it, but the Armitage <laughs> Lake wants it back. All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll get the book back. They didn't want anything else in there. The rest uh, of the library was we were sent not to, in the brief. <laughs> we were sent to do a job. Anyways, all, what are you doing? So I'm uh, headed toward Roger to, uh, like, Recover. knock him out and okay. drag Wake him away him or whatever. All right. uh, athletics? Yeah. They didn't say don't burn the library. Um, I'm going to spend three. I'm pretty sure, they, I'm pretty sure they imply that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's an eight. Yeah. Uh, you book it. Uh, you're Tom Cruise running. Uh, <laughs> so dun, dun, you'll, dun, you'll dun, be dun. in melee range with him beginning next round. Okay. Um, he is still in a trance. Uh, Herman, what are you doing? Hmm, like, a lot of things are going on. Like, well, like, Porter's getting torn up by two ghouls. <laughs> it's pretty much like, well, uh, second verse. Same as the first. <laughs> uh, well, you're in long range. The, the, uh, like the ones he's, that are attacking him. Okay, that's a melee. melee. You alright with that? Do the sixth one that's not attacking yep. him yet. Alright, yeah, sixth one. Alright, uh, you will need a six to hit that. Uh, we'll get closer. Okay, give me athletics. I assume you're running and not yes. sneaking. Alright. Because I don't think I can. So you're Tom Cruise. I don't think too. I can. Oh, I can stealth. Uh, it's a matter of, you can do both. Anyone can. It's a matter of choice. Do you want to be slow and sneaky, or do you want to be fast and loud? I'm actually going to do sneaky for once. All right. Where else am I going to get Why do I have do? two in explosives and zero in writing? <laughs> <laughs> You're a dilettante. <laughs> what kind of fucking house did I grow up five. in? You got to blow up those stumps, man. <laughs> Ross, five. All right. Uh, you're sneaky. No one knows where you are. Um, just like the train. So you're riding on your horse. What's the horse's name? Shadow catcher. Shadow catcher. <laughs> Give me a riding check. <laughs> Why did Come I do on, this? Dice. Come on, I was making dice. such good choices until now. <laughs> yes! Right. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> How hard could it be? You, you've had riding lessons when you were a teenager. And the horse is used to carrying people. Yeah. So, <laughs> so where? Oh, what, it's what a is your goal? Like, what, yes. what this horse was in the It's horse. riding towards that whole mess up there. The coven. Um, I'm going to try and blast some With a shotgun? Ghouls? Yeah. Okay. Uh, which one? One of the ones on fire? Probably uh, not the ones... Mauling him. All right, four Because it's probably not good while mounted <laughs> and into melee. And with a shotgun. And with a shotgun. Like, there is a 100% and I have chance. a flamethrower on my Yeah, back. so. Holy shit, that's right. So maybe, maybe a different one. Yeah. There's the one loping around towards him, and then the other three on fire. Uh, the one loping towards him. All right, so you're shooting a shotgun. Yes. All right. Uh, that, you made your check, so it's only plus one difficulty. <laughs> All right, hooray! You need, a, you need a five. You got this. You'll do plus two damage because of point blank. All right, uh, roll damage. Do I get a mounted bonus? You get a range bonus for being close. <laughs> Damn. But he has the high ground. Uh, six. Six. All right. Which is three. Okay. Because they do have damage. But the shadow catcher hit him. No. Do I roll him down in my that's cavalry a, that's, charge? That's a riding check to convince the horse to run down the monster. The wolf creature. Because the horse has self-preservation instincts. It God, I want to roll it. <laughs> yeah, that's next round. Um, all right, we'll just go from left to right. Uh, let's see here. Well, at the beginning round, let's see if Irma stop, drops, and rolls well enough. Uh, I'll say she needs a four. Uh, wait, no, she has athletics, does she? Let's see. Yeah, she, she does. Didn't spit, she didn't declare before the roll. Uh, she, she's no, a she, guy. she gets to do that. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> so she does. She, she does take one more point of damage. Uh, the, um, oh, yeah, also, you notice this first. 
uh, among all, you know, is it tall, overgrown grass? Um, there's a lot of rats. Uh, like there's a also huge... on fire. <laughs> Some of them, <laughs> not all of them. Surprisingly few. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, they're not coming towards you, but there are rat swarms heading through the grass towards the others. <laughs> Anyways. My brain literally cannot process what it's saying right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Uh, let's see if cool one. He's going to spend three because he doesn't want to die. Uh, well, he only had one hit point left, so he dies no matter what. Nice. Uh, but the other three are going to put out their fire because they are spending three points of athletics. Uh, so they take one. And, I mean, yeah, they that. But they, that's been their action putting it out. So, right. um... Let's see here. And if you set them on fire again, they won't have athletics to spend. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Lala. Uh, well, actually, no. The, uh, we'll, we'll get. We'll, the ghouls will attack as at the same time you're attacking, basically. So. Okay. Um, Lala. Okay. Um, you get so to Roger. I get to Roger. Um, can I use hypnosis to de-hypnotize? Yeah, you can try and snap them away. Okay, I'm going to try and do that. You're feeling very peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> How many are you spending? I'm going to spend three. All right. Yeah, eight. He wakes up. It's not a dream. It's not a dream. <laughs> he screams in your face. Uh, and then you see rats at his feet. Uh, and your feet. Um, there's rats. Let's run. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They will get an attack on you. Uh, Sorry. There's rats. Let's run. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. They're going to spend one point of scuffling. Uh, what's your hit threshold? Uh, that's a great question. How do I find that uh, out? It is. It's, it's, My uh, athletics is six, so it is a three. All right. So they need a two or better. Uh, they get a two or better. So... Uh, that's four points of damage on you. Okay. As they bite you. Bite, 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 bite. Nom, 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 uh, Let's see here. Uh, Roger, uh, they, they also bite Roger. Yeah. Well, no, they don't bite Roger yet, because he just woke up. Mm-hmm. And they think he's on their side, because, you mm-hmm. know, bad blood and all that. Um, but you wake Roger up as your action. Roger's awake. Uh, you'll be able, uh, you start moving away from them, and you can either attack or run away next action. Okay. So, um... Dr. Porter, two ghouls are on you. Uh-huh. Um, you can't hit them both at the same time with the flamethrower unless you get a, get some distance from them. Yeah, I want to flee. I will definitely flee. All right. Uh, athletics. Uh, fleeing. Or fleeing? Or fleeing. Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing you can do. <laughs> the fleeing skill can be used for fleeing. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I have more athletics. I'll use the fleeing, I guess. No. Yeah. All right. I'll spend two... Are you dropping the flamethrower or keeping it with you? No, I'm Any keeping it with me. Right. Above so that's a twice six. Your athletics All right. Cost me um, the let's see here. Um, you do that. Uh, you get clear of them uh, a little bit. One of them is going to try and chase after you. Okay. Um, he'll need a four or a better to catch up with you and make a melee attack this round. Okay. Uh, he gets a six. Balls. Uh, Balls. So he's nip, nipping at your heels really well. He'll spend two on his scuffling. So what's your hit threshold? Uh, three. All right. So he'll hit. Yeah. Yeah. So. And uh, two damage. Okay. So the, what does that put you to? Minus four. All right. So uh, I'm you're not, not doing great. Uh, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not as bad as it could be. Yet. Let's see here. Um, the other one turns towards the larger threat. Uh, which is the horse. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's going to try and spook the horse. It just it just roars and, ah! and basically it's trying to knock you off your horse. So make a riding check. <laughs> Come on, glitter die! <laughs> yeah! Yay! Yay! All right. <laughs> Not today. Uh, so that was ghoul five. Um, is a war horse. Let's yeah. see here. Yeah. Ghoul six whacked on your initiative. So, uh, Herman, you're sneaking. You're right. a ways off, but because everyone else was running, uh, you can give me some struggle check. Five. All right. There's a rat swarm in the grass between you and the rest of that stuff. <laughs> it doesn't notice you yet. Shoot them individually. <laughs> Just like, like, 
Mm, nope. <laughs> okay, um... <coughs> How far away is is the uh, sixth one right now? Uh, it's still long range. Um, for you. I mean, things are moving, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, again, that's the, that's the price for being sneaky, is that you're slow. So what are you going to do? You can uh, open fire from where you are. Long range. Yeah, long range, plus two to your target modifier. You need a six. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this swarm kind of cut you off mm-hmm. uh, from that. Spin three. Okay. Dang. Five. Dang. Dang. Uh, so, ghoul six. Uh, is just gonna try and swipe at your leg. Uh, your hit modifier is higher. I swipe at him with a cane knife. <laughs> okay. That I got from the old black preacher. Okay. So you're tar- attacking each other at the same time. Eight! Alright, you hit each other. <laughs> does he hit me or does he hit the horse? Uh, he's hitting you. He's trying to grab you. Actually, he's just trying to claw you at basically your leg. All right, well, I am mounted and hitting him with a large-ass knife. Yeah. So that does extra damage, right? Uh, yeah, you kill him. All right. Uh, but he does seven damage to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As he just stabs at you into your thighs, you stab him in the throat. And he bleeds all over your horse. Um, you already made one riding check this round. So yes, <laughs> Ross, I did. <laughs> so one ghoul is definitely dead. Uh, two so far. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Two so. total. We, the other one died from fire. Uh, oh, yeah, two total. That's right. There's only four left. Uh, only four. Only four. <laughs> uh, plus Irma. Um, Whom we should probably kill. Probably. Uh, it's a new round. Irma will go first. Um, she, uh, let's see here. Nobody's really paying attention to her, so she doesn't do anything super obvious. Uh, but I'm she, paying attention to her. Uh, no, you're looking at the rats that are biting you. <laughs> rats make uh, crazy. you do see that she gets up, uh, and moves towards Dr. Porter, actually. Um, something's in her hand. You can't really tell, because, you know... Rats. Make me crazy. So, Lala, uh, you can just tell Roger to run, and he'll make his best to make a fleeing running away, and then you could do something different. Um, or what do you want to do? Is it so far away that I'm going to have, like, a bajillion problems if I try and shoot her? Uh, it'll be a plus one modifier. So, range. it'll so be five, five, five instead of a four? Yeah. Um... I am going to shoot her... While yelling at a uh, porter Roger. to look out. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'm going to spend three Okay. on my firearms. No, I can't spend three. I can only spend two. So I'm going to spend the last two. Okay. Doo-doo. Yay! All right, you hit her. Eight. All right. Um, so yeah, I also told you to watch out. <laughs> you hear that. And then a Six. gunfire. All right, you kill her. Good job. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, well You hear gun, another gunshot. She was holding a derringer in her back. But, uh, it, it, it you know, she was going to try and shoot you. <laughs> what and, a day to uh, like a gun. <laughs> she was going to try and shoot you in your flamethrower. Yeah, but, of course she was. Uh, you killed her before she got a chance. There we go. Oh, good job. Yeah. Um, then the rice bat bite you. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I, I don't you, think the rat should bite me. But I just killed their priestess. Well, it's happening at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Did, you did tell Roger to flee, right? Yeah. All right. So, Roger will spend three points of fleeing because he has that. Uh, but he rolls a one, so he's... <laughs> Ron, you were just completely... Well, he gets a four, then. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's, he's shaking, so his difficulty moderators are plus one. Because uh, he's had a bad day. Uh, the rats are going to bite you. You said you had a bad They're day. They're going to spend one on scuffling. Uh, and they roll a six, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. Another wow. four damage. Wow. And the rats All are right. just... Just climbing on you, and you know. I am one, two. Give me a stability three, check, because you know, I'm a at swarm. negative one health. Rats are swarming stability you. Stability check. Yeah. 
Nope, nope, not not stable, not stable. Yep, that's three stability. One, two, three. I'm still clean. Yeah, for now. Technically. Yeah, you're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, you have, everyone's acting at the same time. So even though Irma's dead, the ghouls will still act fine. as though she's alive for this right. round because it's all happening at the same time. Right. Uh, so Porter, you're being chased by a ghoul. I spin around and just. <laughs> Right in the face. <laughs> All right, give me a weapons check. Okay. Um, point blank range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is point. Well, you know, that's plus four damage if you hit, but you still have to hit because. Right. It, um, this is also not a military manufactured flame. Bro. Sure, sure, sure. I spent Especially the ones in World War One really weren't either. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of those flamethrowers that comes from a sharecropper's church. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the kind. Uh, that old chestnut. All right. Nope. That's four. That will not make. Um. Yeah, because you're shaken, or because you're bleeding. Yeah, because because of my damage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you would have been, but you know, blood loss is a thing. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. So yeah, uh, well, that's uh, if the flame get you know sprays past the ghoul uh, as it charges at you. It's gonna surely spit. that should unstabilize it. Uh. Well, it's more in the fight or flight thing. It chooses fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, you know, its mistress isn't dead yet. Uh. So it's spinning one on scuffling. Uh huh. Uh, it gets a four. Does that hit? Uh, yes. Yes, All it right. does. And that's only two damage. Well, that's nice, I guess. Um, that puts me at minus six, though. All right, make a st- uh, consciousness check. Okay. Right. What is that? Uh, is that, that is, you need a four or better. You can spend health points to boost it. Okay. But that's going to keep dropping me. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's the trade-off right there. Um, Wow. <sighs> So what do I need to stay up? A four. A four? Yep. It's a 50-50 unless yeah. you want to sacrifice hit points, uh, health, to have a better chance. I mean... I'll spend one. Just... Does Raj have first aid? <laughs> if you can get him. <laughs> Yes, I'm up. <laughs> I'm all right. Uh, yeah, H- held up by adrenaline and sheer grit. Uh, well, arrogance will say. Yeah. Yes, that was exactly what I, I was have. Thinking. Papers left to publish. Uh, I've heard of publisher pairs, but this is ridiculous. Anyways, uh, Herman. Damn. God damn. <laughs> Ross loses a point. <laughs> of something. It's better what I. Can um, <laughs> yeah, the there's a rat swarm uh, that's going to attack you this round, but you can act first. Dive flee. You can flee. I will do that. What's your drive? Bad luck. Yeah, you're a real brave private investigator. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's too much. <laughs> I'm not. I'm glad we brought your ass along. <laughs> I killed a ghoul. One. <laughs> I took four years of French and German, and I'm a cavalry charge. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You're gonna die. You know that. Wait, do I see where the book went down? Uh, yeah, approximately. <sighs> right over there. Give me athletics. All right. I got lots of that. Yeah, yeah, you do. You haven't done anything. Six. <laughs> All right. He's hanging out in the woods. <laughs> you dodged the rats uh, and managed to run and scoop up the book, I assume. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, ball, 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 ball. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the other girls are doing. One was attacked. One's dead. Um, two are dead. Two are dead. The one who was attacking me is dead. Yeah. Uh, You're still on the horse. What the one that's that? spooking you. Uh, try that was the one who attacked me. No, there no, were two. That was a different yeah. one. There were two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's still there? Yeah. The horse didn't stop moving. <laughs> I know. Well, it didn't run. You know, you you, you have to make a... It, it, it is a... Uh, Long wolf legs. <laughs> a horse can't outrun a ghoul. No. Well, you're still in the same thing. You, you, you slowed down to stab the guy. To stab the ghoul. I'm trying to think of what it's going to do. Um, it is going to... Trying, yeah, no, it's it's a it's going to try and scare the horse. It's like, Wah! so give me a riding check. <laughs> <laughs> that one failed. All right, I didn't uh, say come on, glitter guy. That's no, good. That's you take one it. point of damage as you fall off your horse. No, you used All a right. different horse's name. Uh, and that's <laughs> like, oh, your action. No. <laughs> uh, the other ghoul is running towards you. Um, Can we get an athletics check to recover for that? Or anything? Uh, okay. Next round. All right. Uh, I mean, next that was your, so I'm up two rounds. No, right. no, 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 no. As, <laughs> on your next action, you can get up okay. and do a thing. Um, but the next round comes, and Irma, everyone now knows Irma is dead. So the rat swarms stop attacking people. Thanks, rats. Uh, oh wait, no, did they actually attack you? 
no. I ran. He ran. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so the rat swarms start fleeing dispersing. immediately. Yeah, dispersing. Uh, Please disperse. The ghouls uh, look up, uh, stop, and look at Irma. Uh, and uh, are you going to press the attack or let them see what they do first? They might flee. Let's. I say. What? No! <laughs> or they might eat her. Like, let them eat her. We got the. It's like, mission accomplished. <laughs> let's go. Uh, is that what your character's yelling? Yeah, I was like, got the book, let's go! <laughs> I got this thing you fought so hard for over here! <laughs> Hell monsters, right here! Cause this sure, book! Because I'm sure they speak English. <laughs> the key to your whole ritual! <laughs> like, because, over here with me! Because, right, well, because, like, because the few things I know about weird dog men that eat bodies <laughs> is that they probably don't understand English. You don't know that. <laughs> that's what I'm assuming. Okay, that's fair to assume. <laughs> uh, so, Lala, the rats have stopped or, or fleeing in into the night. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, Roger is stumbling around trying to get away from things. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and help poor Raj. <laughs> okay. You, you, you get him up on his feet. Uh, you're fine. Um, uh, Dr. Porter, yeah. Are you going to press the attack or are you going to see what they do? No, I just kind of menace it with a flamethrower and, you <laughs> know, are you done? <laughs> uh, yeah, it starts backing away from you. Uh, starts receiving like, the night. Like just a- uh, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna head to the opposite direction to away from Are you my running? Team. Do you want to flee? Or are you just gonna calmly walk? Are you fleeing? No. <laughs> like, like, well, like, uh, alright, like, yes, like, let's, let's begin to withdraw. Okay. So is that a walk or a run? Or, is, or are you gonna try and die? <laughs> no, I will, like, he's gonna ghost again. If I see them leaving, alright, let's try to just. Walk away right now. Okay, so you're trying not to. Okay, mm-hmm. so you're calmly walking away. The ghouls are watching you uh, as you watch them. Uh, but then finally, uh, Mr. Arnold, uh, Doctor Arnold, what are you gonna do? I see you know, those fucking jars around. Uh, yeah. Right. Like close to me? Uh, not too far. I know. Smash them with a hammer. I, I get out a revolver and a K knife, and I go walking towards that. <laughs> <laughs> they're backing away. You're, you're, they're, they're watching you, uh, but they're, they're not going towards the jar. They're heading back towards the tunnel. All right, start kicking it behind me. Okay, slowly backing away. <laughs> okay. Uh, like really menacing. Like, imagine like, 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 gotta get big. Bears. I imagine we came to an agreement that night. I whistle for shadow catcher. Yes. Sir Gula. I need one more riding check to see shadow catcher. Oh, yes. Do it. You monster. He's loyal. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. The horse loves him. The horse does love him. Uh, so, like, my friend, you have the book. You have uh, both jars. Because uh, she didn't finish her ritual, you know. Uh, uh, as we all get behind the line and yeah. upwind. Yeah, torch that entire field. No, just burn that shit right. I'm to babbling the about. I'm babbling about the the, just the logical fallacy of that. But jars <laughs> didn't fucking break during all this. <laughs> well, I mean, she was she was holding out there. They dropped on dirt. It's depression glass, man. <laughs> yeah, they knew yeah. how to build it back. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you managed to retreat. So uh, you you went back to town, uh, bloody but defi- but victorious. With the book uh, and the two jars. So, uh, what do you tell the sheriff? What do you tell the other people? Or do you just get in your car and leave? <laughs> we just get in our car. <laughs> uh, no, Wait, one... no, I have a tearful goodbye with Shadow Catcher. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get in our car. I was literally just going to run behind the car. <laughs> yeah. No, no, go back. Fuck it. Get out of here. You live free. <laughs> Uh, no, the <laughs> Come here, Jethro. Come back. <laughs> uh, the horse's real name is Jethro. Uh, <laughs> that's what. He, At least wait, with you, with you, he had a proud. I know his true name. <laughs> <laughs> his true name. So, um, yeah, you got the book. The armored Jinkri is very uh, pleased that you've recovered it. Uh, they. <laughs> Uh, Take a leap of absence. Yeah, no, no. it's been done uh, in the hospital. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I collect my fee it. and hopefully pay the rent this this month. 
Let's see here. You might even have enough to actually I buy give real our professor, I give our private investigator a shitty performance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the book is uh, then instead of returning stars on Yelp. <laughs> instead of returning the book to the University of Alabama, it is then transferred to the Miskatonic University to their safe uh, rare books. Archive. Nothing goes wrong there. No. Nope. Yeah. Hey, in Dunwatar, they actually did protect the book for sure, <laughs> so they know how to handle their shit uh, by the standards of Lovecraft. <laughs> Um, and Irma, uh, at this point, the sheriff just, like, no, there's no more inquiries. You don't tell them what happens to Irma, and sheriff, uh, you presume finds the body, but nothing happens, so. <laughs> Once the flames die down. Yeah. Uh, so you just decide never to go back to Alabama again. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Works for me. <laughs> New York. You're a Georgian man, anyway. <laughs> so, that ends Midnight Sub Rosa. Questions, comments? Oh, no, that was, that was good. How bad did we just... <laughs> no, I mean, you stopped her. Stopped like, her. if she was allowed to finish the, the ritual. The point isn't to know. Yeah. The point is to stop. Yeah. <laughs> we achieved the mission. Um, yeah, she was trying to resurrect not only Ezekiel, uh, her original ancestor, the original necromancer, who would have been... Possessed the body of Roger. Um, right. She no, was going to try and resurrect her mother. Um, and if she was allowed to do that, then she just would have had the the ghouls swarm the town of Rosa, and everyone would have disappeared. He uh, probably should have killed Derby too. Uh, <laughs> he is. He was just a pawn in his, in his daughter's schemes. You know, she's just after. Uh, her fiance and her mother died. She's just like, oh, my ancestor's precious necromancy. Let's see if that works. And it turns seemed out. seemed rather pawnish. Yeah. Uh, we he, left him homeless. He's not going to live very long <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, you did leave him homeless. And by the way, no. Homeless and also, like, I got going the book. crazy. We're like, mission done. <laughs> we, yeah. He, he, he'll probably be dead in a month. <laughs> you didn't say, don't burn down his house. <laughs> <laughs> Get the book. <laughs> so, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what this bad um, um, I got the book. If We're good. Is, if uh, uh, there are options to run this as a longer, drawn-out game by making people more recent, sal- yeah, yeah. Uh, there's also an option of like saying <laughs> that we like we eat by wolves around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you like inside. I skipped the intro uh, briefing. Uh, I just summarized the briefing that you got at Birmingham, but that could have been role played out. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also a lot of red herrings. Uh, I could have made you know not given you quite as many clues to point to Irma. Um, the one thing is, like, the whole dead walking seems a little, like, a little too direct and too obvious if it was just a missing book. Yeah. Um, the other thing, uh, is there's an option to have, uh, say the ghouls interbred with the population of Rosa over the two centuries, and so there's ghoul changelings, uh, oh. ghoul <laughs> hybrids, uh, which is what Tom would have liked, I'm sure, uh, but there's a whole... I don't know what you're talking about, Ross. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So that that was a whole option to draw it out and make it more about the the mysteries of this small town that's been living in the shadow of a you know necromancer for two hundred years. Oh, so yeah. so it was yeah, like no, the, the town's like no, this was a good lynching. This was a very good lynching. Yeah. We did a good job. Good, uh, good job, team. The exactly. one, yeah. Yeah, the one, the one good lynching. In it, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, necromancers. Uh, yeah, that's, like, that's one of those like wow, this is weird. Like we lynched, and I think we did the right thing. Yeah. yeah. God, this is uh, like, like okay, weird mob idea. Well, we, yeah, we need yeah. to commit another atrocity. So let's instead of freeing these poor people who suffer through all this, let's just keep them. Oh, okay, now yeah. we're balanced. Yeah, okay, now we're, we're back to being horrible. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's Midnight Sabrosa. There's four more scenarios about horrible things happening in the forest, and uh, that we can. I don't know. Do. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what could possibly uh, go wrong. Yep. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.